Hello, gang. From the Dynasty Typewriters, the Hayworth, whatever the theater is called down here in MacArthur Park, Los Angeles, Harmontown is now in session, episode 301. Oh, shit, is my voice back? I, I just got loud for no reason. Let's bring out the uh, game master, ex extraordinaire, Spencer Crittenden, everybody. He's all in brown, and he's down to clown. What's in that little lunchbox, baby? What is this? Treasures. Tre you got secret treasures in there? What? You got secret treasures in there. Yeah, I got secret treasures. Can I know your secret? No. All well, right. we'll find out. Oh, fantastic. I feel like I have to yell. <laughs> well, let's Let, not. Let's stop. How about this? Yeah, you and I can stop yelling, and we can bring out the mayor of Harmontown. Who? Dan Harmon. Yo, I got a little baby backpack. I got a little baby backpack. I'm back and packing where it's back at. A millennial backpack. A little tiny thing the size of a wallet. Hanging on my back. What you do you call it? A little baby tiny backpack. It proves I'm 19. I only got so much shit, so why would I have a bigger backpack than it? I just have room for my ecstasy. And your phone. Uh, I got a little tiny backpack. It's a, uh, it's a Rick and Morty little tiny backpack. And I, I see like in, like in proper uh, like, like millennial style, you kept the tags on it. To prove that it's, you know... That well, it's... I wanted to keep it in kind of mint condition because I thought I'd give it away to an audience member tonight. Cause... Are you saying that somebody here at the Dynasty Typewriter is going to go home <laughs> with a tiny wallet-sized millennial backpack? You thought all you were going to get... <laughs> <laughs> There's an impressive... It's a whole mosaic of uh, Gull, Rick and Morty scenes and things. It was uh, in my office on the pile of... There's merch every day comes in. I was like, here's the toothbrush, here's the watch, here's the thing. And this little tiny backpack. I brought it home to Cody. She said, I'm a little old for a little tiny backpack. Why don't you take it to the show and give it away to somebody? Mm -hmm. So oh. I will. Yeah. And you have worn it. I saw it. Mm -hmm. So you can yeah, exactly. sell it. You could, you'll be able to say it was worn by <laughs> Dan, Dan Harmon. Uh... Uh, okay, so uh, what's going on? We I I I I I, I mentioned uh, we were just talking. Uh, you said you like the Ant Man and the Wasp. Yeah, the new Ant Man movie. Haven't seen it. I like good, good 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 for good for our friend Chris McKenna of Community, uh, the beating heart of Community. Uh, I think he's heavily involved in that Ant Man business. So it's good to hear that. That's good. I really like Deadpool too. I think I mentioned that. I mentioned that again. I thought Deadpool two was awesome. Why'd you like it? I don't know, just, well, I, I guess it was just, uh, maybe it's a sad state of movies these days, but it's just like you, when you're shocked that, like, something, like, lands, it, it, it was like... <laughs> That's why I like all the Marvel movies. This is just like, I like superheroes, and this is a movie. Yeah, and it... it <laughs> this didn't kick me in the face. Yeah. Uh, yeah, I mean, overall, I won't be lying. I'm 45 years old. I think I'm allowed to say, I, I don't really care uh, about your Marvels anymore. Sure. Like, I, it's a, you, you're, 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 a, you're a spider. I get it. Like, I, you, 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 you climb it's, walls. You're still climbing them. There's been, like, nine actors playing. It's like, uh, I know. I know you can climb walls. I don't care anymore. I, I, I also don't know what I care about. I mean, don't, don't go to me for uh, what you should be watching. My taste buds are dying. So is my soul. I sit in bed. And I, I'm, I'm living either the, the best life or the worst life. I'm, 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 I listen to podcasts about people being murdered. I, I, and I play Minecraft. I'm just slowly rotting away with a big smile on my face. So I, 
if I was 19, it would be, probably be a great time for, to care about spider people. I, I like, oh, he, I say, what's he doing on that wall? Why, walls are for uh, stopping you from walking. Well, he's walking up it. Holy shit, what kind of guy is he? He's a spider guy. Okay. <laughs> Like, like, if you're 19, you're probably like, Jesus Christ, this is my, my uh, diehard. Yeah, man. I don't know. I don't know from kids. I don't know what you care about. I, 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 like, he I, should I, be called Spider Guy, not Spider Man. He was yeah. young. He was a kid. Yeah. He should be called Spider Dude or Spider... Spider yeah. Dude spider, is spider something. Spider Child. <sighs> now, Spider Child, I don't like. Spider, <laughs> spider Child. What's the movie with the, with the little girl with the purple wig and she kicks everybody's ass? Spider like, Child. Huh? <laughs> Spider child. Kick, kick, kick ass. That... Kick ass. Okay. Yeah, yeah. Right. Uh, the, uh, the also. It's the... a movie about a girl just kicking everybody's dick around the room for fucking two hours, right? I guess so. Yeah. Yeah. All right. Uh, I, uh, I, 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 I look. I I don't get out that much, but I promise you that uh, the. The controversy over the uh, e-scooters is definitely uh, manufactured. Thank you. <laughs> I see it as nothing but a boon. I have never been troubled by a, a person riding around on an, a scooter that they rented with an app. I, I, I've seen them. I've puzzled at them. And then someone's explained them to me, and my only thought was, this is fantastic. Uh, I, I, it'll probably take me years to muster the courage to walk up to one and be like, so what do I do? It's real fun. But, like... I, have, you, have you read one? Oh, oh, yeah. Oh. Up and down the shop. <laughs> me and Dan have a shop now. <laughs> um, you haven't been on one? Have you? No, been? I've been on one. It was a lot of fun. Um, I, I think that people just like being uh, mad about stuff, right? They used to be mad about rock and roll, and now they're mad about scooters. Wait, wait, what, 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 what's the? What, I, I'm not familiar with the beef about the. Uh, the well, e in the Santa e Monica, there's a lot of these scooters. Dan, take it away. Well, I. I... <laughs> Dan takes it away. <laughs> I certainly don't want to blindly dismiss uh, if anybody has a legitimate grievance. I, I just, I, say, I sort of like, come on. I, there's a, you know, tech is being used laterally and experimentally as it should be. Somebody, like, fi you know, it's funny how culture progresses and things. I, I think it's the impressiveness of it way outweighs any possible inconvenience. Like, right. For, I, I like the the the, the potential solutions. Uh, it's like of you know they, they they just have these scooters. They just like you just throw them out in the street. You just throw them. Like there's no they don't they don't have stations. There's no. It's sort of like GPS technology and and these things that we associate with like bridling us and oh we're all in an Orwellian society. It's like well yeah, but it also means you could just take this fucking lump of metal and just go. <laughs> Out on the sidewalk and just rolls and lands. And if you find one, yeah, I, I walked out my place. There was one in the bush in, in front of my place. I'm like, is this is this somebody that wants this back? Like, like, is this, <laughs> did somebody drop this off to go take a pee and wants this back, or can I just steal his scooter? I don't know what the, what the if it's protocol. in the bush. I think he's hiding it so you can't find it, it was, so it he can get it. It wasn't inside the bush. It was just resting. It was nestling. Okay. Yeah, somebody like, visited your neighbor and they like, left it there, like like we did with dirt bikes in '83. That's the that's like, like you know you ride your dirt bike and then you fucking ditch it and you run in and play Atari. Yeah, but somebody so, somebody stole my red line dirt bike and I was fucking pissed off. Well, right? yeah, because it was your dirt bike to steal. And now imagine a world where, okay, who needs to own this piece of shit? I'm just taking it to my friend's house to play Atari. But like, like, let's say I go to your place on one of these e-scooters, right? Like, right. You know what? I'm not, I'm not walking or driving to Dan's place. I'm going to take one of these. Uh, He's I, a scooter. I, I found a scooter in a bush. I live, I live in Chelsea. <laughs> he lives in the uh, Upper West Side. Yeah. That tracks. That's a bit of a ride of an e-scooter. I'm going to play some Atari. I'll just take the A-train. Okay. But anyway, uh, <laughs> but let's say I go, oh, I found a scooter in a bush. Uh, what's it say? Uh, the first ride is only a dollar? I, 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 I figure out how to make it work. Do you, is there sure, a, there's a QR code. Yeah, you oh, scan okay. it. So I, go, I do, whoop, and now I'm on a thing, and now it's going, and I'm in a suit, and I'm like, I look like a, a vampire on a scooter. <laughs> <laughs> and I get to your place, mm -hmm. and then I drop it off. Just leave it. Just leave it. And then what? I, I come out and go... Where's my scooter? Well, no, you don't have a ride home, but yeah, I mean, it's not guaranteed because someone could come by and find just it. Just fucking but scoop up my I scooter. I think you can also right. locate them with your app. You can go like, where's the nearest one? You can yep. go find it. Yeah. 
You can but, but, keep. Like, you can, can, can I stash it? Like, can I put it in your garage? Well, you can take it into the house, yeah. Or you can just stay but then, renting but, but it. But then someone goes, "Where's my nearest scooter?" And they go, "Oh, Dan Herman's house." Oh, is that yeah. true? That's what I'm confused about. You stay renting it. Like, okay, so if you st- went to the Seven Eleven, Jeff, I you just it, you don't unrent it. And then that means if someone comes up to try and get it, they can't because it's already in use by you. Oh, so that sco- uh, that uh, bush scooter might have already been. Oh, you're like... paying for the time. Yeah, yeah, you oh, pay for unit time. Perfect. Yeah, but then you get paid to charge it. So if you take a scooter home and charge it, you get like ten bucks for that. This is fantastic. It's it. awesome. <laughs> the, here's the problem: it was rolled out in Santa Monica, which just has garbage traffic and especially garbage bike traffic, which doesn't integrate well it's with street traffic. It's already hard for bikes. That's the I get that. Right. It's already so, hard enough for bicyclists. But that's the thing is, so all the problems that apply to bicyclists are now applying to scooters. But since they're easier to use and you don't have to go out and be a weird biker to drive a bike. Don't get me wrong. If you like a bike, that's good. But um, <laughs> anyone can do it, so we're having more of a traffic problem because all this bike, you know, what is essentially bike traffic is now being forced to contend with road traffic, and that's a problem because the roads weren't built for bikes. But that's a problem for bikes and not scooters. It's no, just a problem. Our, our, like, it's, it's bad etiquette on a bicycle to be on the sidewalk. I hate when, uh, when bikers right. are on the sidewalk. But now scooters are all over the goddamn sidewalk, and I'm going to get killed by a family of scooter people. Yeah. Right. But you would have got killed by a bike two weeks ago. So you're just fearing rock and roll. I just want to add this as a, as, as a former L.A. bicyclist. I just want to add I'd rather have people hate me for being on the sidewalk than fucking die. Right. Because I, I, like, like, it's not a bicycle-friendly city. I, I, anyways, blah, blah, blah. A lot of bicyclists get killed in the road by, by drivers and stuff. Like, that's a huge issue in L.A. Right. And they have the right of way, and yet they're getting like probably hurt, as, as, as if they were motorcyclists who know what they're signing up for. Sorry if you're out there and you got injured in a motorcycle accident. I'm just being glib, but um, I mean, bicycles can't split lanes and stuff. You're just riding on the side of the road. Look, I, I get I, I get frustrated by a bicyclist in front of me too, but then I go like, Why don't come we, on. Uh, you, you, how about like, this, you, Dan? Uh, we live near each other. Spencer, if you're down for this, we can do it together. I'll I'd love to. Let's let's find take some, take one of these scooters around. Let's find some e-scooters and fucking just like take it to the streets, like fucking. Like, well, I do want to break that cherry, and, yeah, and go, and go like let's let's learn to do this, like so, you know, so that because it's like I, I yeah, I want to know how to do it. It's great. The, well, how do you know if the battery's gonna die on it? Like, it'll what? tell you when you scan or are looking for them. It's great. Spencer, the, the Spencer, important thing is Spencer, that, like, you got all the answers today, man. I'm sorry. Well, yeah. that's what we want to. What's in that I, fucking I, treasure basket you've got on the? Not all the answers. <laughs> Uh, all right, so uh, I, I, the, 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 um, um, the, I, 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 was eat, I was eating dinner with my friend, and um, we were talking about our dads and the, like, like, like uh, uh, sayings and things. It was, actually, it was actually Heath, who you remember from the uh, Dadfish episode. Oh yeah. Uh, we were having dinner, and we were so the topic of dads had come up again, and like he 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 attributed this saying to his dad, which I have heard before, and I wrote it down because I was like, I really. I've always had a problem with the saying that like his dad would say, you know, like if you if you would go like, uh, oh, I wish I wish we could have gone to the zoo today, and then like his dad would say, well, wish in one hand and shit in the other and see which one fills up faster. That's the fucking most awful thing I've ever heard. It just doesn't it doesn't scan for me. I, 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 it doesn't. You don't wish into anything. I, I like, like, like. It, 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 it almost makes its own counter argument because it, it's sort of like, like you're one hair's breadth away from saying, w- fill one hand with wishes, and fill the other hand with shit, and see which is more valuable. Like, yeah. you get a but, handful of shit. Well, see, no, no, a handful he, of wishes he, is like the ratio of value to the amount of yeah. you have to wash it. It's like amazing. You could wish for a toilet. You could wish for. Like it just seems he, like he's, like, say, it's he's like, saying that it's 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 more practical to fill your one hand with shit. Than I, know, to fill that, I don't. But that's not sustainable. With, with, uh, yeah, your yeah. hand fills right up. <laughs> if you're wishing into your hand, you'll be fucking doing it for weeks. I, I got two handful of wishes right now. And, and you can still use them to do stuff. Yeah, I, I, I wish Spencer would tell me what's in that fucking lunchbox on his, on his desk. I got a bunch of uh, pocket operators in it. Look. <laughs> Wait, oh. oh, whoa. Yeah. Wow. Wait, what are those? There you go. Pocket, pocket operators. operators. They okay. make music. I don't even know what that is. It's good. They're like little uh, synthesizers, synthesizers that the kids are doing. 
All the kids, they there's, love them. There's a book called What Makes Sammy Run by Bud Schulberg, uh, and the, the kind of the, the antagonist in it is Sammy Glick. And he says it's like a, about the Hollywood system back in the like 30s, 40s, 50s? I don't know. It's been a while. And, uh, 60s. Yeah, no, it's before that. And he says, uh, your friend doesn't want to write that, like punch up your script for $50. And he goes, you tell so-and-so if he doesn't like $50, he can shit in his hat, pull it over his head, and call it curls. <laughs> That's the best thing. <laughs> I think a lot of people get away with invoking shit in these like quick statements of like like counting on you to not think twice about it. My dad used to say, if I want any shit out of you, I'll squeeze your head. Like Wait, what? Yeah. God. But then he would often add, and it'll come out of your ears, because I think he thought that wait, this kid's four years old, he doesn't even understand what I'm saying. But he understands child abuse. <laughs> well, I was just saying, like, if I want shit out of you, I'll squeeze your head, and then I think he'd see a blank stare and be like, it'll it'll come out of your ears. Because your head's and, full and, of and shit. That, that somehow softens the blow of that statement? Well, it's just, it, it helps the joke land, I guess. I don't know if that's your goal. What's the first part? It's if I need shit if, out if of you? If I want any shit out of you, out I'll of squeeze you. your head. Well, you know there's an easier way to do it. Squeeze the butt. Well, yeah. <laughs> oh. You can't, or, you you know, uh, you can't first, just First squeeze. feed them. Give them a hot meal. Right, yeah. Yeah, provide for them. Yes. Yeah. And just actually just wait. You don't yes. even have to squeeze That's them. That's what I'm saying. Uh. If I want, Dan, if I want any shit out of you, I'm, I'm going to take you to Arby's. <laughs> if I want any shit out of you, I'll keep going to work from <laughs> 9 to 5 right. and accepting the accountability that comes with reproduction <laughs> yes. and uh, providing and, 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 you and, and with a... Uh, I will home. wait <laughs> six to eight hours after I've fed you. <laughs> and, and I'll put a special <laughs> trap under the toilet because apparently I'm in this for shit. <laughs> Uh, Not wishes. I, he, he should have put a wish trap under your, under your butt. Oh, uh, see if you see. If you can see. <laughs> what if you can shit wishes? The whole value of wishes is that they have no, they have zero rest mass. That means they can move at the speed of light. They, you could you you you, you could wish a thousand times. It won't cost you anything. Wish 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 wish. Like I I, I didn't suffer anything. That's the whole point. <laughs> Fucking wish away, motherfuckers. Yeah. You can't. Fl- <laughs> You can't, you can't flush a wish. You don't have to poop. Like, you like, t- it costs you nothing to wish. You know what it profits you? Every once in a while, you come up with a fucking e-scooter business. Like, like <laughs> I, wish, I wish I was a fucking millionaire. Like, that, that's the whole idea, you know? Like, I wish, wish, wish it wish, wish. Like, like, fucking wish away. Don't shit in your hand. We already, yeah. Someone wished a toilet existed. <laughs> like, that guy was smart. Like, 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 like or lady. <laughs> <laughs> Madam I, Crapper. I... I, I, I I wish I didn't just shit in my hand. That's the thing. It's that, just so weird. Shit in one hand, and or wish in one hand, shit in the other, and, and see which one fills up faster. All right, Dad, I, I went away and did what you said, <laughs> and I have a handful of shit. See? I, I still don't get your point, man. I just said I wish you were a better you dad. Could, you could fill up... Like, I still don't understand your point. I just have shit in my hand. Like, that's, like, just reinforced. I feel like that I already had that in the form of your fatherhood. You, sh- you should have called his bluff and go, all right, give me, give me 20 minutes. <laughs> and then come back out with a handful of shit and another hand and go, the wish is filled up faster. <laughs> I mean, how do you know? Like, what does a wish weigh? Uh, what, what is its mass? I don't, uh, like, wishes are the only part of humanity. That's our redeeming quality to be able to wish. Penguins can't wish. We're going to fuck them. Talk Hell to yeah. penguins in 50 years. Like, like, like they're, you, you won't be able to. You know why? They couldn't wish. We could. What did we wish for? Greenhouse effect. Indirectly. We didn't really want that. We wished for cars. Penguins just wished for also, tuna, I think, pe- I assume. I don't know. Or salmon. Penguins know. should Walrus have, droppings. What do penguins eat? Penguins, don't wish penguins should have wished for hands. But they can't hold anything. They, they yeah. can't even hold their own shit? They... They, they you, try, you try to hold shit in a penguin flipper, it's not going to fall right off. I don't want to throw penguins under the bus at a time <laughs> when they're probably under a lot of fire from the climate. Uh, they should have wished for the retention of flight. <laughs> like, what, what, what makes a bird of all creatures think yeah. maybe we should get back into the ocean? Yeah, they should have wished that they, they didn't have to carry their child's egg on their feet for four months while they're... Spouse was on. I'm a little iffy even on the mammals that go back. Uh, All due respect to my boys, the dolphins. Uh, (laughs) Like props, West Side. 
Like, 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 we get it. Like, fucker, maybe shit was going ham up here. Like, you, you, you were like a dog creature. You, you, you know, maybe I could have flippers. I go back. Is, is, is this your influence of hanging out with Dave Klein that you have all this new? Uh, I guess I'm kind of going off of his. Like, maybe I'm learning to yeah, like be a, encouraged by him. Yeah. Maybe if he's happy, I'm happy. So maybe that's what's happening. Yeah. But no, it's like 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 whales were probably like these brontosaurus, and they're like, this is fucking bullshit. Mm -hmm. Like I I I I'm on your side as a brontosaurus creature, like a Loch Ness monster. Like that's what a whale would have looked like before it went back. It was like experimenting with like. Well, I've been told that if I start breathing oxygen, I can eat leaves and hang out. And then it's like, <laughs> hum, hum. and then some thing comes out. Bah! disembowels it. It's like, fuck this. <laughs> uh, uh, and it goes back. I'm like, on that guy's side. That's, I'm like, good, good for you. you, know, you do you know what a, a Dave Klein whale says? Alright, well, let's bring out Rob Schraub. Rob Well, uh oh, something exotic is about to happen. I'm certain. Yeah, I can't even see. Well, you know what? Dan's leaving the stage as Rob takes the stage after taking Dan's popcorn. Rob tests the new chair. It doesn't look more comfortable. Ah. What do you think? Is it comfortable? It's kind of like a high chair. Yeah. Is that what we're? Is that the angle we're going for? Pe people are trying yeah. to make you happy. Do you need help? We're trying Damn. to make you. We're trying to make you more comfortable. Cushions. I got a cushion. Do you want mine? I knew it. I knew it. I still can't see, but I know what's happening. Thank you. Oh, no. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. There's a new chair. This oh, chair does look okay. comfortable. Awesome. This has been Harmontown Musical Chairs. <laughs> Thanks, Steve. I win! <laughs> Shrub, what are your thoughts on Senator McCain dying? <laughs> Here's the thing. Here's Podcast the thing. dynamite. Here's the thing. Give me my popcorn. No, no. All right, you can have a little. Give us thoughts on John McCain dying. I, I, I think it's sad when anything dies, you know, I mean, but I, you know, I, I didn't share his belief system, but he seemed like he was trying to do some good stuff. He fought for our country. He got, he's a POW, you know, I mean, like, he did some, he tried to do some good stuff. Spencer, what do you think about Rob's thoughts on John McCain dying? I think they were uh, too safe. Mm-hmm. I don't think he took a real stand. I'm kind of like 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 what a, a a rivet would have as a thought, like or a frog or a rivets are a valuable part of society. Let me ask you one question: Do you usually go to frogs for like political commentary? Uh, no, you don't. So don't go to me for political commentary either. Go for me for chair criticisms. Try. What do you think about the uh, genocide going on in Myanmar right now? I'm against it. Next question. <laughs> Again, too really? safe. Because the too people safe. committing it yeah, are just trying to keep genocide from happening. <laughs> I don't even. I think popcorn's bad for the show. You guys. Uh, I think it's. I think it's good. It's good for the tummy. Nobody wants to hear people eat during a thing. They'll live. Like when I, when I when I like they can watch when there's a commercial and, and there's people eating like a Carl's Jr. commercial and people are you the sound of people eating makes you want to fucking barf. I was hungry. I huh? don't know how yep. much Carl's Jr. ads uh, amplify the sound of eating. They use it. I don't I don't know that that's true. I think that if anyone knows how unattractive the sound of eating is, it's the companies trying to sell that. 
Is there anybody in the audience? Yes. Preferably of the <laughs> of the of the persuasion, but I'm not gonna. Hey, that was great, man. <laughs> now go on. Hey, if you're serving in the audience, let me hear you say yeah. 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 Get somebody in the audience. Is there anybody in the audience that yeah. that is the is the that that identifies as the kind of person that would like to wear a tiny backpack? Who also well, wait wait for it? Sorry. Who also would give us honest feedback from their perspective on what they expect from the show moving forward? <laughs> okay, all right, you're you're committed. Okay, come on up. All right. All right. From the second row. Oh, yeah. Hello. You want a backpack. Your I name is Nova. Nova. the galaxy, across the Milky Way. Your backpack is here for you. Here you go, With Nova. some plastic on the handle. Make sure you cut off the tags. Major time. Well, you, you, your name is Nova? Nova, yeah. Hello, Nova. Welcome, Supernova, to the is show va, making over your backpack. Nova. Hey, hey, Nova. Nova was in Planet of the Apes, the original Planet of the Apes. I know. Yeah? Is that what? <laughs> hey, 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 one more thing. Nova was a television show. Yep. Uh-huh, uh-huh, uh-huh. That's all I got. A car. What? Oh, yeah, a the car, Chevy. A star. Yeah, they yeah you're probably an expert on this. What else yeah. are you named? <laughs> and when they heard everything You know what would be better Nova. is what, what am I named after? <laughs> Don't answer that. Don't answer that. Don't answer that. Don't answer that. Okay, moving on to you. Thievery. What the f... <laughs> Nova, what do you think qualifies you to wear the coveted tiny Rick and Morty backpack? Uh, I don't know. I'm a pretty huge super fan of Harmontown. I've been to like almost every show at this theater. Um, and I love Rick and Morty very I much. I resent this line of questioning. <laughs> yeah, that's She beautiful. doesn't have to prove nothing. Yeah, I mean, yeah. It's, a, it's a consumer product. You just have to want the, the backpack. You don't have to earn the yeah. backpack. That's a, well, okay, I, backpack. I have a follow-up question. What do, you, what do you think is going to go into that backpack first? What, what's, what's, what are you going to carry around in your smart little All right, tote I'll bag? move it. <laughs> <laughs> um, uh, phone, wallet. Phone and wallet. That's yep. fair. Yeah. Is that one thing? Like no. a hyphen? No, I don't have the little thing with just the stop. I just, I don't, I, it's, I'm so sorry about my friend. No, it's totally cool. Hey, what are I you know. doing for uh, Labor Day weekend, Nova? <laughs> huh? Labor Day week, going to be showing off that backpack. You got any tattoos? Yeah, go get, get some tattoos on the backpack <laughs> on Labor Day weekend. On you want to go get a tattoo on Labor Day weekend with me and Rob? Gonna That's go so see great. the Meg on Labor Day weekend. <laughs> yeah, not, no, some empty seats for the Meg. I, tr I try to bring a young person up and 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 and. I and try to relate the Meg. <laughs> you're traumatizing them. I, 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 like, like like they're they're gonna be like I don't even know what happened. It was like Thanksgiving at my uncle's. Like, <laughs> like, well, this like, is much like, better. Okay, <laughs> as long as you're having a good time. Yeah. But also, and, and then also, if the audience is having a good time, but then also on top of that, I should have a good time. Yeah, yeah it's your show. Well, stop being such a fucking stick in the dick and get in the game, man. I'm not a stick in the dick. You're, hey, you're, you're look a, at your arms. I'm are, not a stick in the dick. That. Take that back. Yeah, put your. Take it back. Your arms are folded. Yeah. Your well, dick you know is what? Folded. This is an allowable posture for somebody. You got some snot dripping off your mustache. That's yeah. vodka. <laughs> this isn't your show. Are you kissing? Are you, did you just? So, someone's yeah. acting like a real stick in the dick over there. Nova. <laughs> Nova. <laughs> I don't want to put you in between this. Nova. But choose between Nova. me and Trab. Nova, you must use Your the power crystals. Is on the line. <laughs> Nova, you must use the power crystals or you won't be able to open the galaxy door. 
Nova, believe in yourself. Nova, please. Nova, give me a name, Nova. What's my name? Rob. I just want to die sometimes. No. I, 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 is, that, is that why you listen to the show? Because you sometimes just want to die and you're like, Dean knows what it's like. Like, he gets sad. Yeah. Okay, good. That's what I thought. And so he kind of ruins it sometimes, right? No. Okay. That, that was my job. Well, I don't like when he makes you, like, legitimately upset. Oh, but, well, uh, then, okay. He's not, well, no, but he's not upset. He just I know. Yeah, I get a little frustrated. His arms. <laughs> Look at his posture. <laughs> I get, I, get, I get concerned about shape of show. I get concerned about $10. I get concerned about you driving from uh, Silver Lake, wherever you're coming from. Uh, Sorry Santa to Clarita? Like Santa Clarita. I mean, I, that's, a, that's a long drive. Yeah. Yeah. And then you hey, choke up this money, you wait in line. Santa Clarita Diet. You ever watch that? <laughs> I, know, I want, I want you to have a good time. To... I always have a good time. So, yes. Uh, I love you and I love Shrub. Okay. Yay. Nova, <laughs> Nova uh, what do you do for a living, if I may ask? Uh, nothing currently. Yeah. I am unemployed. <laughs> Not in school. Hey, hey! I've never been applauded for that. <laughs> you could charge e scooters. You can go grab them. You can take them and charge them. Yeah, you man, could. I see people doing that. It's I've crazy. I've never I seen they one of were, those. Really? Yeah. Yeah. They're on the coast. I thought they were self mode powered. They are self mode powered. <laughs> They need to be charged, and then there's like cultures of kids, like they they roll in scooter charging gangs, and yeah, they, they like do. war with each that other. That sounds fun. Hey, hey man, that scooter's the property of Sticky. That's on my. I turf. don't know this Sticky, but I know mm. this scooter belongs to the Jet Boys. <sighs> Get them! And they have scooter fights, but all the scooters are out of battery. You're never alone. They inch forward on scooters going and then trying to like steer it with one hand so they could go back. They're all wobbling. Yeah, it, it's, hard, it, it's hard to do Jerome Robbins uh, choreography when you're on a scooter. You what? Fucking... <laughs> Here's my concern, Nova. Can I ask you, do you do, is podcast culture, do you listen to podcasts when you're like going to sleep at night, like you make it part of your life? Uh, I listen to podcasts just throughout like my whole day because I feel too, I don't know, kind of like lonely or sad with like nothing on. Yeah. So, <laughs> yeah. So I listen to Harmontown or Game Grumps, mm -hmm. which is technically not a podcast, but there's no like face uh, cam, so it's like a podcast, but right. for, yeah, I don't listen to a wide variety of things, but. Uh. So, do, what, do, do, so like my concern as an old timer is I'm thinking about you kids. I'm like. Oh, if I was Nova and I was going to sleep and I was listening to Harmontown, can I rely on this show to like have like a consistency and a like sort of a like oh I'm coming home to Harmontown, but it's like like I, I I just that's that's when I express anxiety is that's what I'm worried about. I definitely have like a coming home to Harmontown of like I don't know. There's so much diversity in like 300 episodes, you know. There's at and, like, least. Four white people up here. <laughs> <laughs> Four white men. I know, it's a little the sad. Is <laughs> the hallmark of Harmontown is yes. it's our, our rich diversity, diversity on stage. <laughs> I, I know love how diversified <laughs> this show is. It's not my fault. Yeah. Yes. We've had, in 301 episodes, we've had four women on stage. Yep. Anyways, continue, Nova. Um. Yeah, Harmontown's not good for sleep. Um, I don't know. It's like the applause. sorry about it's that. Like the live show thing, and then it's right. like the diversity of like there might be a guest, and that's like their voice is different or whatever. But how does that slot like, well? Like, 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 is there a certain time of day or a certain activity that that the podcast works especially best for? It's best for Sims, um, just like making houses in Sims. Oh. Sims Four, Sims Four. Yeah. Yeah, no. So like, like, no like that would be because I've listened to it while I played Minecraft and it, it does kind of work. I yeah. feel like when you talk about Minecraft, I'm like, yeah, that's yeah. how I feel about should Sims. We, should we get Sims as a sponsor and, and have Nova do an ad for us right now? Uh, <laughs> you can try it. Yeah. Nova, do a little ad read. And we're gonna we're do gonna a pitch this. Sims. Hey, so uh, Sims, very broken, very fun. Uh, yeah, you get to live as little people. But they don't do anything interesting. They just kind of go around the house. You make yourself food and stuff. You can have little careers. I just like making houses because it's fun. Do you and, like uh, green you know. diamonds floating above heads? Do you like trapping people in swimming pools? Do you like pools? watching your Sims go to the bathroom for a weirdly long time? Do you like making your Sims pee on the floor and mop it up while crying? No, I don't like doing bad things to my Sims. It makes me feel sad. I get yeah. too attached to them. I'm like, they're people. I they just like people. making houses mostly. Playing is not my favorite. Okay, I don't know if that was a good Sims ad, but I, it, think I don't think yeah. so. Yeah. 
I don't I, know. I, I, I started Sims uh, and I played it for a while. And then you come back home and it just flies everywhere and everyone's bummed out. I'm like, this is... I don't know why everyone who plays Sims seems to be so bad at it. It's pretty easy for me. <laughs> I don't know. I yeah, but get, you, gotta, well, you, you have to be dedicated to it. It's like, it's... Uh, yeah, yeah. You can't just, like, leave it on. And the Sims do weird things. And you're yeah. like, no, you have to go to work. Like, and you're, like, all invested. You're like, no, you need to... You're going to be late for work. Yeah. And then you, I yeah. do get, like, that, 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 that Tomagotchi anxiety. Yeah. Like, like, like the oh, idea absolutely. of a game that if I leave it, like my and, and, and I, I fuck up by doing nothing. I'm yeah. like, that's what I'm trying to get away from in life. Are there any I, I, other yeah. uh, events where you get Tomagotchi anxiety? Like, you know, like, like if you're like waiting in line at the bank, do you get like a Tomagotchi anxiety? <laughs> or, or like if traffic is like it's a parking just, lot on the 405? We've all just been imagine there. anyone listening to, to this show. Tomagotchi. <laughs> Anxiety, or like your your mom is talking to you, and you can't get me. a word in edgewise. I that's when I get the Tomagotchi anxiety. <laughs> you still like us both? Yeah. Oh, okay. All right. Well, I, I like don't get it. I, I, I just I, I, I feel like I, Shrub's Shrub's level of chaos has leveled up because of his new chair. <laughs> He's feeling very look, relaxed. Look, look how fucked up, free. isn't it? Like, so, I've I never been happier. It's like all I, all I, all, all I, I do is I, does anyone, does anyone perceive the real story here, which is me throwing buckets of enabling on him, trying to make him happy? Like, 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 should I dig a pit of spikes and have him fall into it and like hurt himself? Like, like all I do yeah. is that the chairs have been getting more cushioned. I, I keep <laughs> appeasing him more and more. I flew him to Boston. Like, no one's telling this story. Like, I. I you're telling the story on the show. I know, and it's uncharismatic for me to tell it. Someone else has oh, to tell no. it. Anyways, he's a monster. I don't know if monster. anyone else could understand I, the complexities between you, just, you guys' 20-year relationship. Dan <laughs> flew Rob out to uh, Boston. Thanks. <laughs> <laughs> Was there more to this story? Aren't you, aren't you guys going to buy weed together, I heard? Back yeah, we're going to... We're gonna, I... I the, the, okay, so here's the deal. Two weeks ago, Rob approached me. And I go, hey, Spencer, can you teach me how to vape? <laughs> and Spencer said... Go on. Go on. What's yes. my line? Yes. Oh. Yeah, yeah. Okay. And now, he, we're going to do it on Wednesday. <laughs> He's you guys are gonna go buy, a go to a dispensary. Yeah, I told Shrub I would show him the ropes. Wait a minute, once a there. dispensary. Yeah, yeah, it sounds the same. <laughs> oh yeah, let me let let's run through some names that sound like Spencer. Suspender. Oh, we've done this before. Suspense. <laughs> Suspension. Dispense. Dispenser. That's about all of them. Um, but no, I told Shrub we'd take him to the store next time I was going, but Mike I haven't Pencer. been smoking weed, so it like it took a lot longer. So Ew. next time you see me, I'm gonna be like, oh, peace and love, love man. <laughs> man, you guys gotta, you guys gotta just relax. <laughs> peace and love, man. You gotta hey, be why, cool. Why you, why you, why are you doing all the war, man? You gotta. <laughs> I'm talking about peace and love, man. We need to get out and just smoke some God. Get that so, so, Maui Wowie and vape yeah, this yeah, shit, that's man. So you, so you, Spencer, you, you know a, a dispensary that turns Rob into a black exploitation character? Man, <laughs> man, you need to get the only down one I get the grass, <laughs> man. I'm going to smoke some uh, vape. Nova, do you I'm like, going to smoke all the vape. Nova, do you, uh, do you vape it up? Do you, are you a vape, uh, vaporizer? No. No. no, I've Don't never do done drugs. weed or cigarettes or anything. I'm not against it. I just haven't done it. Yeah. If you yeah. feel different, you drive different. <laughs> what? <laughs> you know what I'm saying? You what different? You drive different. Man. Oh, I would assume so. <laughs> I got I gotta go to this dispensary, man. Yeah, man. <laughs> Fucking blowing my I'd mind. I'd probably like man, it. Do I they, just do, done they it. do they sell vape shirts and vape posters? They sell vape hats and vape socks. Fucking A, man. Vape socks. Sign vape me socks. Up. What's a vape sock? It's a sock for your vape. All right. <laughs> I'm gonna take some I'm gonna take four vape socks, a couple hats, I'll take a, a vape. No, give it's me worse three. when you're up here. Give me, give yeah. me. It's worse I'm when gonna, you're on stage. It's a lot of <laughs> the show. The show? No, no, yeah. no, I'm just oh, I'm, oh. I'm gonna yeah. take I'll take three vapes. The show take too. one of me. Oh my God! Thank, thank you. Think. I'm so glad. I this did. is why you're here. Finally, like, like, now I have to truth. bring every single person up one at a time and go like, see, <laughs> like, 
But I I'll mean, be honest, uh, and I'll they give did. You the so were your parents? Uh, are they are they astronomers? Public television supporters? I don't know. Uh, they're kind of hippies. They like science. Uh, they liked the show, I guess. They like the stars, kind of thing. I don't know. They, a, a they, Carl they Sagan kind of, kind of thing? Or no, they wanted something unique, but not like weird. Uh, and yeah, they like science, and they're kind of yeah, yeah. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> are you are you a sciencey person too? Uh, <laughs> I don't know. I like psychology and sociology and stuff. Not so much like the physical sciences. I can't wrap my head around it. Like I don't care why why a rock was formed. Right. I don't know. They should have named Probably you. Science. Seems important. They should have named you Malthus. Huh? What, what what interests you about that's psychology joke. and that's uh, a joke sociology? For like what what yeah. uh, Malthus? Ex, 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 expound on those fascinations. Like uh, okay. Um, <laughs> yeah. Smart, the kind yeah. of stuff that fascinates you. I don't even know, but um, well, I'll just go with the psychology sociology thing. No, I guess Susie. I really like. <laughs> I really like uh, trying to figure out how people work. I mm. don't know. I have uh, I have Aspergers, so I'm always trying to like. Yeah. Like, yeah. <laughs> I know. I feel the same way. I feel like I really need to understand people Why because people like people are doing what they're doing. Yeah, because I just don't get it. What are they thinking? Yeah. I don't understand. I don't know why I'm doing what I'm doing. I don't know what people... I, I like, right, but I like you're trying right. to figure out the... Uh, thanks. <laughs> yeah, it'd, be, it'd be comforting to think there was maybe a, a couple rules. Yeah. Uh, I would be very nice to know why people do some <laughs> of the things they do. Not even because I'm upset about it, just because it's like, why, 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 why? Why am I doing what I so do? So do you think, like, do you see yourself on this? Uh, look, this is a, gr a question grown-ups ask kids that, that gets frustrating. So you, your, your answer, you can plead the fifth. Uh, but, like, do you see yourself in any kind of vocation in particular? Is there a fantasy job? The only thing that I've really always been, there's, there's been, I, like, everything that I see, I'm like, I want to do that, I want to do that, I want to do that. But the thing that I've always been like, yes, that absolutely sounds amazing, is I've always liked acting. Like, always, like, theater acting. Not like, I want to be a star or whatever, but I don't know. I just, yeah, I like being in plays and just stuff. Just showing up and doing the job. Yeah, exactly. Just There's not like take home work. Right. I mean, there is, but not like during the show's run at least. But um, did you do theater like in like high school, or college? Anything? Yeah, I always did. Like the the second that I was old enough to be in the school play in elementary school, because you you weren't allowed to do it. What until play? You were in fourth grade. Peter Pan. Who'd you play? Gentleman Starkey. Uh, he's not like famous. He's like there's like Captain Hook, Smee, then Starkey, and he was really like gun happy. <laughs> oh yeah, no, he's, he's no, got, or no, that's uh, that's fun. Sneed. Sorry, I was that thinking of Sneed. That role is the anchor of the third act. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you, actually, he's a plot point. Yeah. Do you remember any of his lines? <laughs> no, <laughs> no, I just remember him being like, I gotta take my gun out, and then Smee being like, dude, for real, no, they're children, like stop, I don't know. Uh, it's it was really fun. I like though, playing like, villains a lot. Don't you wonder, like, if acting was a job that, if if all jobs kind of, if there was some fantasy society where everything paid kind of in accordance with some sort of shared value system, and the, like, because acting has this like built-in thing where it's like. Well, maybe one day you'll be Batman, and, yeah. and, and because one day you'll be Batman, and then you'll buy a million houses, like you well, suffer well, now by like, being like in little now, cat food like, commercials. And so, or if whatever. you tell your mom, yeah. she's used to like, well, what are you doing? Well, I'm acting, and she's like, well, I hope you get a break. And she's she means like maybe one day you'll be Batman, but it's like, well, that's not necessarily a, a result of me acting well. And I'm kind of actually curious, like people who like 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 like. If you, you, like, if we really got to choose, and we could make a living wage, and you could like do backbreaking acting work in a theater, and mm -hmm. it had nothing, it wasn't attached to this idea of my goal is to be Susan Sarandon, um, and the and it was just like actually, I would like to do this for my life. If you as a society could provide me with a guarantee that I can do it for thirty years. Uh, uh, like, like that we could like come into black box theater and, and, go, and go like, hello, I'm Aunt Susan, and, and, and people would be like, yay. Yeah, I think you can. Like, how, I mean, how, like, do you think that everyone would be like, I want that job? That's a privileged job? Because I, oh, I don't think so. I think no, people no. would be like, no, th that sucks. No, like, people think like if you say you want to be an actor or a singer, people are like, oh, you know, just like yeah, every little kid wants to be an actor or a singer because they want to be famous and want people to pay attention to them. But if stuff. fame wasn't an actual like thing, and it was like you actually equation, saw what it took to be like. I a, would still love acting, and I think a lot of people would never want to be an actor. Yeah, and, you know, pretty, they're totally happy being kind of like washing dishes. <laughs> yeah. If you I could, mean, is, there, you know. is there a role that you like? If you could do any role, like on any, like either small theater or like like Broadway, like is there is there a certain role that you would like freak I, out for? 
I would, there's like a lot. I would love to, there's a lot, <laughs> I don't know. That's, there's like a long lists and stuff, but I would absolutely love to be like, I don't know. I've been, I've always been cast into like small character roles. And then I've also never been considered kind of feminine enough or masculine enough for any of the characters. So I always end up with little bit roles and stuff that can kind of be, gender neutral, and I would love to be like a protagonist or something, like Seymour in Little Shop of Horrors, or like... Well, let's construct like you that. a gender great, neutral yeah. protagonist role, and we'll do a... I well, don't it wanna... could be a male role, but just if they would cast me in it and be like, I'm allowed to play that role. And well, like, let's figure you know. something out, and then we'll we'll do an embarrassing, would you, would you, improvised you, version you, of it. Would you rather be a male lead in a show, or a female yeah. lead? Yeah? Yeah. See, yeah, 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 see the, you as a Seymour would be, would be fantastic. I would love Thanks. that. Thanks. <laughs> All right, then I'll be, I'll be your, uh, your, your <laughs> either... <laughs> either your... Pl- your uh, my Audrey? <laughs> yeah, I'll be your I'll be your plant, your Audrey. Plant. I'd love to be the plant too. That's a big right. dream is to be the plant. I yeah. wouldn't even have to be on stage, but I could just be tearing it up behind stage. Oh yeah, you could really ham it up. Act one, here we go. This is Nova's she's not auditioning. This is just her living her her life. I'm a plant. I'm not doing any <laughs> I'm Seymour, what are you, why are you, you're denying me. <laughs> Look, trying. I know it's yes and, but uh, uh, this uh, is uh, a little, hmm. Okay, <laughs> Seymour, I understand. I respect your boundaries. <laughs> Thank you, Audrey, too. I okay. love you. Please don't eat me. You don't, you don't get to be a functioning plant without being able to work with your environment. I get it. <laughs> Uh, okay, all right, that's good. That's Look, I would love to play along, but being on stage here is enough. Right. <laughs> so I gotta put a boundary somewhere. Sure. <laughs> that was a good plant, Dan. Yeah. I yeah, liked I'd... your plant. Thank it was you. very meek, which was interesting. Yeah, interesting I'm, 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 I'm willing to take risks. He's usually played very big and stuff. Yeah. Yeah, Dan. Uh, Dan, uh, I, I just saw uh, Church and I went and saw a fantastic production. Uh, it's in Hollywood. If you guys are around until the 16th of Cabaret, which I love, mm-hmm. it's a really good production in a very <laughs> tiny theater uh, at the Lex, or the it's a celebration theater. It's called Cabaret at the Lex. It's really, really good. You like Cabaret? I have not seen it, but um, uh, I would love to. Yeah, it, it go, I recommend it. You must go to it. Dan, you want to do a little Cabaret for us? You, you, are you familiar with the film or the play? Of course, front to back. All right. <laughs> <laughs> it's a musical. Chicago, yeah, I know. That's kind of similar. Right? What, 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 what do you know it's about? It's a musical about uh, <laughs> not, Nazi times. Yeah, Nazi times. And there's a cabaret that yeah. you're in. Okay, I, I'll just start like doing a little umpa kind of intro, and you. you I start. know of cabaret. Yeah, I, I know the whole show. Right. That's of course you're doing the very well known song. There's a cabaret starting right now. You're about to see a cabaret with me. Does it matter if there's Nazis? It doesn't matter if there's not cabaret. I have a cabaret for you. Subtext. Yeah. I saw the whole show. I'm very familiar with it. I'm sorry. Yeah, I, 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 I have a degree. I, I got a degree in it. I a thought I was throw, degree. I thought I was throwing you a curveball, but no, you not at all. Nailed Cabaret. It, yeah. I get it. It's <laughs> right. a it's a show. It's uh, so. How about let's do a little Music Man? Right, Music Man. Mm. Robert Preston. Yeah, like uh, Gary Indiana. Gary Anthony Williams. I mean, no, Gary no. Anthony <laughs> Williams. <laughs> That's a deep cut. Um, uh, uh, yeah, no, I, 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 I saw that movie. He, 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 he keeps telling everybody they're going to have trumpets, and then, uh, <laughs> but then he's a con artist, and, the, and then the, the lady's like, you, you ain't got no trumpets. And then he's like, no, I got trumpets for real. And then at the end, he has magic trumpets. Like I, 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 I no, they get they, they get some real like the trumpets. The trumpets are fake. They like, get some like real dream trumpets. trumpets. Do you know? Do you, have you seen? I haven't seen it in no. a long time. They get real trumpets and they come in, but he he doesn't know how to teach music. He's, he, right. he normally but they all know how to play them. No, no, he no, they, no, they don't because he normally splits town before that and right. with, with everybody's money. But he falls in love with the. Marianne, but then in the end, they all the come librarian. in and they're like, foot foot up, and they no, know but, how but to play. They, but, but they all suck and they're like, and they all they're all terrible. But the, fam- the families, the parents of all oh. they're, they're, they're so proud of their kids for even 
playing shitty music. Which is kind of a linear progression number. because that's exactly what we already understood to be the con, that the parents would be so proud that he would sell them the instruments. No, no, no. no. Normally There's no just, curvature to that he, story. Normally he sells them the instruments, sells them the uniforms, mm -hmm. and then fucks off with the but money. But he, he's able to sell them based on the parents' pride and desire for their yes, kids to be but, special. But normally he's gone before they find so, out that he never and then, taught and them. This is a time and then the end of the sticks around to find out that, that some problems solve themselves, right? As they do in shitty stories. Oh. It's like it's like if Godzilla was about to fight Mothra and had a heart attack. <laughs> and the Did Japanese army is like, "Look, Godzilla! He eat too much sandwich." Oh, boo! Oh, oh, boo. Wow! Oh. What was that? Wow. Did you think it was? It was <laughs> the Godzilla. Come on! Is this climate? Somebody called TMZ. Crazy Rich a a Asians is That's is going literally the, roof, the title. And you come off I'm with not. that Charlie Chan bullshit. <laughs> what the fuck in yeah. 1979? Dan, Dan, I'm not Dan just did Godzilla and Crazy Rich Asian food. Oh, God. Uh. You guys are weak. <laughs> See, this is interesting because, at least in Japan, don't they literally transpose the L and R syllable? So, yeah, I mean, definitely yeah. it's still like racist and because actually that's literally what we make fun of them the word for. Godzilla, like that's it's the, go the R. It just seems tricky. I mean, we should definitely avoid it, but I just like that is what happens. Yeah, but it's like you're the just danger of, 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 of coming up with thing. rules for racism is that you don't want anybody to think that the goal is to get away with being racist or prove <laughs> that they're not racist because you don't want anybody. Somebody asked me in an interview today, uh, is so and so racist? It was a gotcha question about somebody well known. I was supposed to answer the question, and I and I said, uh, "That's a deeply irresponsible question to ask or answer about anybody right yeah. now." Because, it, like, like if you like, is the goal to get a not racist card from Monday? So that you can be as racist as possible on Wednesday, like like the there is no like the you 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 don't want to ask that or answer that. You what you want to do is try to maybe figure out like how to not be racist tomorrow, right? Like a which lot is of, probably going to change the definition, right? Like a lot of sensitivity training and stuff for like don't be racist, don't be sexist is more like don't say these words and it's more or, or that kind of thing. Which it's makes more like people how go, to oh, seem so like how do I get around those words right. when like, the whole late motif is like empathy, empathy, how empathy. not to do sexist or racist things, but you're still sexist or racist, like you know, not like you, but like a person. If the move, <laughs> <laughs> nice save. If Either the movement way, was nice focused save. on. Like, it was like, hey, there's people Not out here. Like there's you, people out here. Like a person. Hey, there's people out here. <laughs> like a like an actual human. Like a person with feelings. I won't have those words put in my mouth. <laughs> I yeah. just repeated what you said, sweetheart. <laughs> okay, fine. Darling. But it's hard to come up with rules, like just treat people like people. Treat them like they were your best friend, and then you're like, well, my best friends and I uh, used to play Smear the Queer with the ball up as rare. And it's like, yeah, it's but nuanced. what I'm saying to you is like... It wasn't a great game. Uh, Wait. No, I've, it never was satisfying enough for the language. No. I, I, I never heard the ball up the rear part. <laughs> I uh, didn't either. 70s Wisconsin. Uh, yeah. Problematized. Yeah, it was, but anyways, but yeah, I know so as time wears on, it's just like, oh, wait a minute, like all this, all these rules have to be about like, can we actually worry about hurting each other? Like and stopping people saying a word doesn't mean everyone's suddenly not racist or sexist. In fact, like it actually teaches people how to exploit certain rules because hackers yeah. are all about code. You can talk really well and then not say certain words and stuff, and then somebody who doesn't really know the who doesn't really know the rules or whatever, but they're clearly like a good person who's not racist or sexist the or whatever. The first person that might but actually. Like, yeah. They're not on the real like the wavelength of like we're not allowed to say this anymore or something like that. And 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 uh, convert. Firstly, the kinds of people who are into rules, i.e., like, like, <laughs> like, like, those are the people that are going to be the first people to like adapt and pick up on shit and go like, oh, so if I say this and don't say that, and then I say this and don't say that, and then if you said that and then you said that and then you said that, and I, they're, they're like the kinds of people that have those kinds of brains. They're pretty largely dangerous people. I, I, they, they, they got that way because they are not focused on empathy. <laughs> yeah, they're more concerned with like self-image rather than actually being good to other people. They're just like, I want everyone to think that I'm being good to other people or whatever. 
I don't know. I don't want it to. <laughs> no, <laughs> I'm like scared I, to talk yeah, about this I don't want to drag much. you into some <laughs> pit where they're like, uh, 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 dear Harmon Town, your friend Nova. I have a f- few bones to pick. Um, anyways. Nova, what's your last name? <laughs> Mandel? You What? Mandel? Oh, okay. You wanted it to be special. My name is Nova like... Special? Nova Special. I don't know. Like There's like Nova Specials, right? I don't know. My name's already Nova. Like, I'm identifiable. If somebody actually knows me or is in my life, they'll be like, that's, that's Nova. That's not, you know, they're not going to be like, that's a different John or whatever. <laughs> like, it's not like the Mandel gives me away. <laughs> not I, that I uh, care. There's a Nova special that I, 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 mm. can, I can never watch because my dogs uh, uh, won't allow me. And it's, <laughs> it's, a, it's about they dogs. They freak out too much. It's the one about dogs. I don't think I've ever seen an episode of Nova. Except I remember one time in science class, uh, they, they were like, let's put on a movie. So they put on Nova. So then it was like the big logo flashed on the screen, Nova. And then like big dramatic music. And everyone was like, yeah. We get to make yeah. out. <laughs> that was, that was kind of fun. What? Wait, what'd you say? I didn't hear. I didn't hear. It's cool. I, I love Nova. I watch it all the time. Thanks. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Uh, yeah, didn't you uh, ask me to talk about how I... Um, I yeah, mean, yeah, we can talk about anything let's go, you okay, want. Let, but, um, uh, moving forward Well, I think show. she was going to eulogize John McCain, right? No. <laughs> 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 yeah, I, I just... Uh, yeah, I, you, you listen to the show. Uh, uh, you know, like, wh- 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 what's my job? What am I supposed to do? <laughs> it's, I think it's the same from that it's always been. I mean, maybe it's been different in your head, but it's always, like, kind of seemed the same of, well, you can have a lot of internal things going on, and then we kind of get the same results at the end or whatever. And you just, you know, you come out and you talk, and then it's like, it's your show. You, you have Spencer, and you have uh, Jeff, and now Jeff you have Schraub, and... <laughs> <laughs> hey. Can I ask you a question? Mm. Okay. What, when is he doing it right? Um, well... <laughs> I don't. I don't know. I s- when you're listening to it, you're like, oh yeah, this is. This is he's well, doing Harmontown right. is Harmontown. Like, there's like, if you're talking about like your dog door or whatever, like I might think it's hilarious, and then somebody else might be like, eh, and then you might be talking about a drink you had, and then someone else might think it's hilarious. And I, I might be like, eh, but I always love the show because if I. I don't get people who are like, I hate every episode except these kinds of episodes. Like, right. I mean, if you're like that, fine. Be picky with your stuff. But for me, no, it's don't. just... No, <laughs> don't. Um, but for me, it's just like, I love like I love Harmontown, and I probably wouldn't listen to it if I didn't always really like it. And um, I don't know. I'm really... Ha- like, like, you talk a lot about how special it was at, like, um, uh, the Meltdown and stuff, and... Uh, like I'm like sad that I never got to go there because I was like listening to every single episode through and I was like when I catch up I'll go and Aww, then you guys you had lost baby. Starburns uh, yeah. um, and um, what, what was that? No, this is so sad. <laughs> that's sad that there's already a post <laughs> uh, meltdown generation. That's so sad. <laughs> like, are you gonna stab your parents? Like uh, like like it's no, a whole generation like, born. Are you gonna stab your parents? <laughs> no. <laughs> I've always been happy just to listen wait, to the show, wait. but are you sure? Yeah, <laughs> okay. I'm sure. Are, are okay. you gonna Are you gonna weaponize your tiny Rick and Morty backpack? <laughs> Fill it with rocks. Um. That could be something. <laughs> that was too ready an answer. That was. <laughs> I just saw it and I just thought rocks. Um. <laughs> Yeah, but I, I like that you went Stone Age on that. That's great. Fantastic. <laughs> I, I don't want to fill with knives or something. Just rocks. That's fine. Um, <laughs> yeah, yeah I mean, I, every time I... Um, the exits are two to the right. <laughs> There's one to the right. Um, I don't know. I'll just, ta- I'll just talk about, like, since I've been coming here and stuff, like, uh, yeah, I caught up with all the episodes, and I was like, oh, they don't have a theater, and then I kept thinking, like, please don't end, please don't end, please don't end if they can't find a theater or whatever. And you guys came here, and I was so happy. And then every single time, I'm like, I hope he's not like I'm going to end the show. I hope he's not like I'm going to end the show. Um, hope he's not going to what? what? End, end the, the show. show. Oh, end the show. Um, oh, God, I don't want to hold people hostage with that. That's <laughs> awful. Like, no. That would be a horrible archetype no, to no, be. No, no, hey, no. Maybe I'll end the show. What do no, you no, no. think? No, no, I don't feel that way at all. I, 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 no, I mean, I blow things up in my head, so I hear like one tone, and I'm like, oh, yeah. is he going to well, the Well, clearly, show? I'm, I'm participating in that somehow, <laughs> or you wouldn't be saying that. Yeah, no. I mean, I, I guess. Are you going to end the show, Dan? Uh, no. Let me think about it. I, um, <laughs> well, I don't know. It depends how many people love me. Yeah. No, I, I know. I really um, don't. That's not my intention. If you clap loud no, enough, Dan will not end the show. No. But I mean, every time okay. I. <laughs> uh, sorry. But I mean, 
almost every single week since uh, since you started doing the shows here. I just I come early, so I'm uh, ahead in line, and then I make friends with someone in line, and then some people come back like a lot, and and then we sit next to each other during the show, and then mm. you know I love the show. I, after listening to the podcast so long, then coming here, like the first couple shows, which is like, ah, just like. I, I get really excited by things, so um, I, I was like completely starstruck, and now it's I've calmed down a little bit. Now so you're I'm over just it like, for sure. No, I'm not <laughs> over it, sir. I'm just like. Now, now you felt the onstage sadness that goes on up here. No, I'm just like my excitement levels aren't off the charts. Now I can just actually like enjoy yeah. the show without this. I kind of get it in the sense of like like the podcasts that I listen to. Some of them I even like Cody and I talk about like very candidly. In a way that I wouldn't, uh, like, are we, we're hate listening to this podcast, we love this podcast, it's like, the lines blur, but the behavior doesn't change, which is something a guy like me would obsess about, like, wait, am I doing good or bad, you like me or hate me, but it's like a, a, a podcast that, that, that people are listening to, they're listening to because it's like part of their family, and your right. family, you're like, you're like, uh, Uncle Henry, like whatever, like I don't do I do I admire him? Do I mm -hmm. do, do I think I should do what he says or anything? It's just sort of like no, he's Uncle Henry and he's always there. Because I listen to these podcasts that are like sort of if they experiment too much, I actually get mad at them. And I'm kind of like like oh, this guy always does that, and then I I put it on and I'm like then they do something different and I'm like what are you doing? Stop it. Well, I'm not listening for anything other than just the people that are on the show. You and Spencer and Jeff, and then whoever else might be here, like Rob or Brandon or whatever. <laughs> God bless you. God bless you. I don't need it. I, I didn't don't mean need whoever it. Whoever else. You're doing and a then, great like, job. You guys are the three that are here every week. <laughs> yeah. And then also there's we like, are. Rob and there's Brandon. <laughs> this is exactly what Dan wants to hear. You're doing great. No, that was that specific. I was I like, do you need Trump. a drink or anything? <laughs> uh, I wish. Uh, no. Yeah. Um, well, I would you, would you, would you, can I pour you a drink? You all right? Do you drink? Or do you, you don't get high, but you, do you drink? I'm, no, I'm, I'm not. Are you driving? Do you pass the popcorn? Don't, huh? don't give him the popcorn. I was going to offer my popcorn because I had about the same the amount popcorn. left. I'm okay, thank you. No, 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 no. I don't know. There's not a lot left. Are you sure you want it? Yes, yeah, give it to me. <laughs> There's not enough left. There's plenty. Look at this. <laughs> That's the Continue, best stuff. Dan. I have to enjoy it really hard out of spite. Yeah. <laughs> you get that bottom of the popcorn bag toothbreaker shit. That's the saltiest stuff. Yeah. Don't put it on my bag. <laughs> Would you say though, among your top, if you were to grab a couple words like an adjective, I, I present you with a sea of adjectives, and I say, Nova. <laughs> Nova, pick your, like, here's a handful of adjectives and you're just grabbing them. Go. I'm like, 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 would you, true or false, like, from the Dan Harmon thing, you're, you're, you're like, oh, well, honesty. Like, I want, I want honesty. Dan's going to be honest with me. You're going to grab honesty, right? Transparency. <laughs> don't, don't make a <laughs> sound. I mean, or do, because I'm transparent and I'll deal with the fucking hurt that you just inflicted on me. In real time, when you're like, <laughs> because you're such an, uh, you're so honest, that person that went, <laughs> that they're like, well, if he's honest, <laughs> if he's, uh, fuck you, I'm going to kill myself and, le and mention you in the note. <laughs> seat 3H. <laughs> you don't even know. You pulled that's that your shit. seat. <laughs> <laughs> you used to say that a lot. Like, I'm going to write a suicide note, you're going to be in it. Like, you, it's an, you used awesome, to say it's that an awesome fucking burn, isn't it? It's hard to kill myself and mention you it in the note. It goes hard. It does not go light it's at a person. It's fucking like baller. <laughs> oh, it's baller. It's like your version of baller. Yeah. You're balling like, out Carmen baller, strong. like depressive kind of angry yeah, manic, baller. Yeah, manic depressive baller. Yeah. 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 But uh, I also don't advocate Dan, for... Uh, I got to say, you and Nova, I've, I've just met her, but I've known you for a long time. You guys are both some real manic depressive ballers. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks, man. It's true. <clears throat> Um, but anyway, Quentin Crisp said in a suicide note, "You should never take anybody with you. You should like be classy about it. Like, don't don't say like, oh, I blame that person. Like, th like you leave it alone." I'm trying that, to figure out. That's why you suicide note writers have. <laughs> it's a little Not suicide a note. Remember that Quentin tonight. Crisp. 
Some jokes are funny because they go too far. Like, I'm going to put you on my suicide note. But it has to yeah. be the time and the place. Like, Harmontown is the time and the place because yeah. that's the way that the show is. And I have a rich tradition of perfectly walking <laughs> the uh, tightrope. I never... Yeah, everyone loves <laughs> it. I've never faltered. Uh, I mean, um, yeah, with the honesty thing, it's less honesty, specifically that word. The word is more authenticity like and like genuineness or whatever of like you just come out here and be yourself you're not like okay this is like i don't know i've never really so then if that person is going through a crisis where they're like who the fuck am i then it's like start things start to get a little bit brechtian uh to <laughs> borrow like a stuff. phrase that i heard a college student once say <laughs> I, 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 love I, 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 I hardly know what it means they, they, <laughs> but but you know like it's like oh shit like like where the, 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 that's the thing like oh, like Oh, hey, uh, the podcast is about me figuring out what the podcast is. And then you're like, well, that and 50 cents will get me a Snickers. I mean, I've never, like, not listened to an episode because you're in a bad mood, but, like. <laughs> uh, so I'm dating myself. 50 11, cents once uh, bought you a Snickers. That and a, pi- a handful of shit will fill one hand. <laughs> I don't understand what that was supposed. What that dad's point was? I have no idea. He, I can't even begin to. He was trying to be was. real mean. I think was his point. Yeah, just he trying wasn't to trying to be feelings. smart. He was no. just he's sort of indoctrinating mean. his son into a world of substance. Uh, he's saying like, "Welcome to the world of substance." Like, oh, I see real things are like shit. Saying, anything Wishes that fills are your don't, hand is worth yeah. something, yeah. and that's it. Like, like, and, like. Yeah. But it's like Dad, things that are real are shit. Yeah, like, like, are uh, you saying that because the guy that owns you has a a hand full of something invisible called credit? Like, 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 uh, like, don't you yeah. work for a fucking corporation that doesn't even have a hand that is already filled with, like, fucking debt? I know. It makes me mad. All that Fuck stuff. dads. Not dads. Yeah. Uh, I mean, yeah, but, uh, like, you know, capitalism and stuff. Right. Fuck capitalism and Fuck dads. Capitalism Fuck capitalism and dads. So it's like, for the fuck, reasons, except for the mostly. narrow window of capitalism that been... assures me an exit strategy. <laughs> <laughs> it, it, it's, it's basically saying don't dream because like what the, what is a wish like I I I, I have to go to work to, to, like right. this morning. I fuck He's kind of saying like uh, here, 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 let me try to like 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 punch up his thing. It's like 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 he's say here's 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 my pitch on on what he's saying. I got hey son, uh, uh, poop in one hand and wish in the other, and tell me which gets you more peanuts. Neither. The that, poop. Is, no, poop has peanuts in it. It's gross, but... Only if you eat peanuts. It doesn't well, just have peanuts in it, magic. Well, no, it magically, no, pe- poop comes... Right. No, you're right. You're right, you're right, you're right. Okay, I didn't know... It, I, I thought peanuts. you said you didn't watch Nova. Uh, what, what, here, I got eat one. these peanuts. Hey, I got one. I'm a real I got one. Man. Eat these peanuts. <laughs> hey, I got now one. Now shit in your hand. <laughs> hey, I got... Okay, yeah. Hey, yeah. I mean, my, I mine requires hand, a certain you amount get of... peanuts. I got one. Shit in one hand. Shit in the other hand. And see all the shit in your hands. Yeah. And you could kill and them both wish, with one stone, right? You and wish, <laughs> wish you had some soap. And wish and, and see what happens because you shit don't. Shit in the hand is worth shit. Is shit worth in two one wishes. hand. Shit in the other hand. Look at look at the mess you made. Now go in the bathroom and clean up the shit on your hands no. before we have dinner. That's life. Shit in one hand. Shit in the other hand. Then. You'll find out whether you're left or right-handed. <laughs> because which one all, you drop faster? Or yeah, something? You, you, you always poop in the, in the shit and in both hands at the same time. <laughs> rub them on your feet. Roll around in it. Eat the shit. <clears throat> Wish you didn't do that. <laughs> and see what happens. And be like, wish for the shit to be gone. See if anything happens. You know, just like <laughs> it's it's weird that the 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 anti wish uh, lobby is so adamant about <laughs> fictionalizing their wish their metaphors like, to drive it home. It's like, I, aren't you a pragmatist? Just tell me wishes don't mean anything. Like, what's with the narrative, uh, fucking anti wish man? <laughs> <laughs> like, hey, why don't you take a wish and put it in a dragon's ass? Like, whoa, hey, what are we, in Narnia here? I thought wishes don't mean anything. I think what wishes are, are worth more than shit, <laughs> at least in this world. Definitely. I mean, <laughs> shit is like literal negative value in most situations. Yeah, you got to wash it off. You're like, I got to get rid of this. It's a liability. <laughs> you have work to do. You're it's like, based, I got to get rid of this shit. It's right. based on <laughs> classics that actually landed, like dadisms. Like, for instance, my dad would say, 
if you you would go, well, if we do this and then we do that, my dad would say, if my aunt had balls, she'd be my uncle. <laughs> or and if, 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 if like, frogs had wings, they wouldn't probably, bump their ass a hopping. Right. If and butts were dicks and butts, we'd all have a Merry Christmas. Yeah, it turns out, actually, life caught up to Dad. If my aunt had balls, she'd be my uncle. Now you could say, actually, Dad, it, uh, let's ask them yeah, what, I would what, like, what pronoun they'd prefer. Yeah, I would actually... A huge thing that I actually really love about the show is that there's been, like, transgender people on stage because, like, I'm transgender, and there's, like... They're nowhere to be found. <laughs> like you know, if just... birds and bees uh, were poos and peas, I was being peas, sincere. <laughs> the air would smell all stinky. Now I'm embarrassed that I brought it up because you made a joke. <laughs> um, no, you felt vulnerable and you felt like we uh, assailed your vulnerability. No, I think I'm, I'm well. I'm glad you felt. I'm 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 really that happy you feel there's been transgender people on the I, show. I didn't, I didn't mean to assail your vulnerability. That's okay. I love that you've talked about it. It's amazing. I love. I am it. not a person who it makes me is, very happy. I I, I I try to police myself being real reactive to things like I, I sense my reactions to things like I'm an old man and, and then I see something in the in the headlines and I you know I have that same instinct that other people have where you go well now this oh brother yeah these bird scooters yeah I feel like an old man too I see things like oh this new technology and I'm like hum, 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 for like you know some new culture I'm like why are they doing that you know but then I try to go like well wait a minute what are we doing here yeah like, I try to be like okay so what if people are doing something like either it'll pass or if it's like not like a dumb thing then maybe it'll stick around and it'll be fine and it hey won't have even you affect guys you. have you guys tried the void the VR experience? The VR thing at the Glendale Gallery. Yeah, VR no. is... Uh, yeah. Levy, where is the... Where, I, did, I don't mean to be... A I did oh, ice yeah, the ice thing? Yeah. I mean, There's only vodka, it? no melting ice bucket. We'll make it happen over time. Okay. Spencer? Yes. You have done it? Sorry, Levy. No, I no. Uh, the Void. It's a it's VR experience. VR thing. <laughs> yeah, I did it. I did it. I don't it. like sincerity. <laughs> what? I said you guys don't like sincerity of emotion. He it really did do the void. Huh? That's honesty. That's true. You're right. I'm sorry for judging. What? <laughs> you were talking about technology, right? I guess. Okay. In a way. <laughs> you were saying there's this new te technology. I love whatever happens on the show. I think, I, think, I think Nova's implying that the trans thing... Steve Levy, everybody. Steve subject. Levy. <laughs> No, we don't need to talk about that though. It's fine. <laughs> right, but I and I think that's what. Yeah, they didn't. I just want to say that because I really. Steve discomfort. Levy walking through the. I just want to say that because I really do appreciate that about you. It makes me really, really Feel happy. Feel free to grow. I'm really Steve glad Levy. to hear you say that. I, I, I honestly, I need, to, I need to hear that because I often, uh, well, because I've often in the past, like, because it, uh, like, like I, the story of my life is that I just blunder through these minefields and I'm just like, well, if I just be myself, then everybody will get the message that I don't mean anybody any harm. Yeah, that's kind of how I do things too. And it gets a little tricky sometimes. Yeah. Yeah, it does. I mean, I definitely, uh, yeah, like, uh, I, I don't mind that you, like, blunder through things or whatever. Like, I'd, I'd rather people talk about things than just pretend. <laughs> I'd rather. <laughs> so much. I like. <laughs> Nova, you're the best, by the way. Thanks. Oh, I um, love you up here. Thanks. Um, yeah, I'd rather people talk about things than like ignore them because they're and try to pretend they don't exist because they're afraid of messing something up. You know, like I'd rather you like kind of address it even if you like blunder, quote unquote. Right. But that's just me. Like a lot of people kind of in my circles kind of don't feel that way. They're like, if you say a wrong word, fuck you. You know. And, I and totally, I'm like, and I, I understand <laughs> that stuff too because I understand like like I mean I've look I it's been a like the last two years in particular has been a fucking crazy roller coaster ride for even my archetype. So like even before <laughs> like that shit, you watch you you might have watched me going up and down and like learning about like oh how do I address this and how do, what language do I use here? And then election happens and it's like oh now I'm learning like what it's actually like to feel like you're like isolated and that you have no control and it's like welcome to the party from, from it, it, it it's it's it, it's very interesting like i i um i can't remember what my point was i'm <laughs> probably too drunk but um, uh but i do appreciate that cuz i i i'm trying to listen to books now on tape that are like called like getting over your addiction to approval like 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 yeah. i like <laughs> now at this point in in this this <laughs> This what? this this twilight of my life, like like my uh, whole yeah, thing, like uh, sidebar Harmontown. <laughs> yeah, I mean, like like, like, like yeah. my my thing has to be about that's that's like my ironic job is like I have this like tank of shame that like 
it's nobody else's <laughs> fault that it's there. And it's like, it has nothing to do with like whether or not I've paid more dues than anybody else. It's just a fucking fact that like I have this crazy battery of filled with shame. And like <laughs> anybody that says, if somebody says pass the salt, there's a 20% higher chance that I'll figure out a way to turn it into, you didn't pass the salt earlier, you piece of shit. That it's just, it's just like weird shit like that. Like, like I got this like fucking bucket of shame driving me. Absolutely. And, <laughs> and, and, and so that makes it in particular, like the, 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 it's like, oh, what's with this approval addiction? Because if you're gonna try to get people's approval, then you're gonna run into situations where people are gonna say, actually, I'll take a pass on that. You didn't get my approval. <laughs> And, and if that's going to make you fly into a rage, maybe you shouldn't be in the approval game or maybe you should lose the shame, et cetera. So I'm listening to all these fucking like, books on tape that are like, hey, like, like, don't care what people think. But at the same time, like, well, how does that help? <laughs> well, I, yeah, I mean, it's, it's, a, it's a turbulent mess. Yeah. And, and, and so because it's a turbulent mess, I think that's the good news about it is that actually we could, we could actually all call out to each other over a, a, a whirlpool like actually equality achieved if it gets <laughs> if it gets that chaotic we can all be like i can't tell the difference between anybody right now <laughs> i'm pretty sure it's just us versus a whirlpool <laughs> uh, like who doesn't want to drown say yay <laughs> and everyone goes yay and anybody that says i do want to drown it's like all right uh sounds like you're in pain <laughs> Like, like, because yeah. why should you want to drown? And anybody that's like, you should drown. I'm not drowning. It's like, okay, like you fucking deluded Nazi. Um, <laughs> but even then, for agreement says that guy's made of light. <laughs> I don't know why everyone got trying to fuse so it all together. <laughs> I'm gonna figure it if all out. You guys out leave here with one thing tonight: is that Nazis are made of light. <laughs> I refuse that to be the title of the show. That will not be. <laughs> no, please. <laughs> um, are you saying we shouldn't call it Nazis are made of light? Uh. Yeah, I mean, I definitely get the like approval thing and like the built-in shame thing of like I'll totally apologetically be myself all the time. But if anybody calls me on anything, I'll be like, "You're right, I'm a piece of shit," you know? Like, yeah. I'm just like, "Why'd you pass the salt?" Like, like, like I'm like, "Hey, it's totally cool. However, I pass the salt is fine. You know, it's all good." And then if anybody were to be like. Why'd you pass the salt like that? Even if it wasn't super mean, I'd just be like, oh, "You're right, I'm a piece of shit. I didn't pass it right. Yeah. I need to figure out exactly how to pass it right. Otherwise, like, you I'm know, a garbage I'm person. I'm <laughs> really cool with people asking me to pass the salt. <laughs> like, That's nice like for when you. They, if they want the salt, everything's and a it's fucking my, competition with you. And it's, it's on my literal... side of the table. I could stop for two seconds, two microns, and pass the salt over to somebody. Maybe I've been using it. Maybe I've been Hacker, bogarting the salt. God damn it, he finally wins. I've known this guy for 80 years. <laughs> <laughs> Feels like it. <laughs> I, I met him in Amber. That's right. how old we are. <laughs> in where? Uh, amber. Like, it's like just, oh. re uh, t uh, like just <laughs> resin. That, that We were both like on top of a brontosaurus, and I was yeah. like, hello. And he was like, hi. And then we got bored out and shipped here. Yeah. Yeah. I We're a thousand yeah. years old. Yeah, I had a friend for like six years, which is a long time when you're like a teenager or whatever. And it's like, yeah, by the end we just like hate each other and stuff, you know? It's yeah. like, all right, he's still my best friend. I don't know. Yeah, the closest people and all that shit. Yeah, yeah. Uh, you know. But, Uncle, uh, Uncle Morty's a piece of shit. But you know, it's got <laughs> like, 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 you, you know, the thing I've, I've done, like, I'm listening to this self esteem book, and, uh, and the thing that blew my mind that actually really challenged me, because I was like, fuck, they took that away from me too, is uh, self loathing. It's like, it's, yeah. it's another fucking dodge. That's the thing. Like, like, I just realized that the other day. Like, like it you blew. I was in my wait, I was in my shower, and I had to start, get out wait, of the what shower. About well, it's just, it's just another way of like giving into your self critic, and like you're basically doing it. It's a dodge. It's like a it's like a check kiting scheme. It's an excuse. Oh. You, you, yes. if, if you were to say to me like, oh, you said some transphobic shit in the uh, last podcast, and if I were to go. Um, yeah, I'm a piece of fucking shit. I'm so fucking transphobic. What the fuck is wrong with you? Know, and if I, yeah, I, I, then I you're flip, like, mm, it's like that's I'm not a, an apology or anything like that. Yeah, I'm like, it's turning, not a real I'm actually turning it on you, right? And, and, right. and like, also, I'm just like avoiding everything. Well, I do that too. Shit. You turn into the victim. You're like, oh, I feel bad, you know. So like, you know, I don't know. When I was a kid, if anyone ever accused me of like, oh, you were mean to this person, which like I never was. It was just like, 
if someone misinterpreted something I said or something, and like I would just immediately just burst into tears because, and it was like legitimate. I wasn't faking it of like, oh, woe is me. But maybe like unconsciously I was. I don't well, know. I do, well, it fucking hurts to think. It feels better to be the victim. Don't like you. It fucking hurts. It's the worst thing that could ever happen. Yeah, absolutely. Like you could hit me in the face with a two by four. I would take that over. Like or, when I was on the playground and people would punch me. Like the thing that would make me cry would be somebody coming up. Uh, and sticking up for me and going like, hey, leave him alone. Yeah. And then I'd start crying because I'd be like, oh, I'm like causing everybody like. Oh, like you're like making people like yeah. have to pay like attention to you Like this poor fucking cool guy now has to take time out of his day. Oh, oh that's I, 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 I'm oh. fine with this piece of shit. Like fucking hit me harder. Like it only makes me stronger. Like now this fucking cool dude's got to come up like fucking uh, pony boy. And I... I <laughs> Yeah, like, it doesn't even have to be, like, people liking you. It's just, like, and approval. Then I would burst into tears. I'd be like, yeah. I'd be like no, fucking, like, like no, you don't just stick up for you me. You went to school with Ralph Macchio? Wow. <laughs> I, I mean, it was 83. Every Yes, and we all did. Okay. You said you looked like Ralph Macchio as Spencer, a kid, right? what, what, Spencer, what was your shower epiphany? Uh, just uh, what Dan was saying. I, I, like, uh, self-hatred is, like, just an excuse to not really, like, it's a stopping point because you're like, oh, should I... Uh, should I uh, go exercising? No, I hate myself. I don't have to do that. But yeah. it's like, well, no, you thought of the exercising because that's something probably important that you should do, and you shouldn't just stop thinking about it by shortcutting it with I hate myself. And yeah, yeah so I think that's what he was getting at. It's, it's a dodge. Anything you're kind of focusing on yourself, you're basically shutting down those avenues that were going to be frustrating, which is connection, where you might be accountable. You might have to do the awkward, painful thing of like not being a hero or a villain and just saying to somebody, oh, did I... Yeah, like, that's hard. Uh, like just regular person that maybe is or isn't high maintenance, like maybe should or shouldn't be my friend, uh, isn't a hero or a villain, but just is saying, I'd prefer it if you gave me Splenda instead of... Uh, 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 sweet and low, like, 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 it, 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 the, the tendency to go like, fuck this bitch, like, like, fuck this shit, like, fuck people, and so I'm gonna give as much as I take, and or is going like, yeah, I'm a piece fuck of shit, me. I can't yeah. do anything right. Both of those are the same. They're right. alternatives to just going like, okay, cool, so splendid next time. But also sometimes self-loathing <laughs> feels. <laughs> But also sometimes, so sometimes the self-loathing, as opposed to turning it out on other people, can feel safer because you feel like you're not hurting anyone. You, no, you feel like if I'm hostage. suffering, that's fine. You that's know? Like, like classic fucked up shit where you're like, I mean, you're like, like no offense to people who actually have to, are doing this shit. I'm saying like, 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 like we know this manifestation. Like people are like, I'm gonna fucking cut myself until you call me back and all that shit. Like yeah. that's that's an instinct that humans have. Like because we, it, it'll it, it'll give you a dopamine spike to like, get you back to that comfort place. What what? <laughs> Did you? What did you just say? <laughs> villain. We found a villain. Now I'm comfortable. No, stop, please. He said. He said we're boring. No, I didn't. He Wait. said no. It's not. Oh, no, it I said it doesn't work. It doesn't work. Oh, okay. I thought. Well, I agree. we agree with that, so All it's right, fine. Well, look the other way while I dry my eyes. And I'm Aww. comfortable um, in this awesome chair that I got for you. You're welcome, you piece I'm, of shit. I haven't stopped smiling. <laughs> Yeah, I mean, that, maybe that's why I love Harmonton so much, because I see so much of myself in you and stuff. Yeah. And also, like, you're in your 40s, so I'm like, okay, cool. Like, you know, If that's I can the make worst it. that could happen, yeah, you're like, you're like, <laughs> I, 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 I'm not kidding. I mean, I would like to think that, honestly. I guess I would like, no, yeah, I think like, that's like, true. Oh, yeah, you know, like, honestly, if it get, the worst it gets is like, like, it's, yeah, like, if I can like, be like, Harmonton, like, that's okay. I could, I could still be like fumbling around <laughs> at 45, and like, it's cool. That's, that is like, that's what I want to hear. Yeah, I don't, I don't know. I don't pay a lot of attention to stuff made by people like my age because I'm like, well, what do you have to offer me? <laughs> Some of oh, them more and more every year. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, I don't know. That was glib, I guess. I don't know. Any, any fantasy requests as far as like segments? Like, like, like if, you, if you could just fantasize about like you're listening to it, you're, uh, you're, uh, I can't remember what you said you were, uh, what your ideal... Sims? Uh, is that? Oh, yeah, you're playing Sims right. and you're listening to podcasts. So any, like, you're like, God, I wish they would do, like, a top ten list or just any kind of... My favorite parts of all time of the show are when... This is not a fantasy thing. This happens constantly. My favorite part of, of, of any episode is when you the come D &D. out... The D&D. <laughs> <laughs> Wait. Sorry, sorry, I cut you off. Yeah. What were um, you going to say, Nova? <laughs> 
is, um, is, the, is the beginning when you come out and you have funny stories from your life of like something weird happened with a dog door or yeah. even just someone ran into my garage because I'm very lonely and pathetic and it feels like I have a friend, you know, who's like telling me about something that I actually am not bored by. And, uh, you know, or it's funny or like the, 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 you know, people beep the little light at the, uh, you know, whatever. Yeah. And, yeah. And it probably feels good, I would imagine, I hope, that to know that like, oh, if I fantasize about slowly getting richer and richer, that I realize that that actually just constricts your life experience down to this like dilated, just <laughs> like like Harmon just keeps talking about how his toilet works. <laughs> it it kind of like I, I guess I'm more I have more flower petals when I'm 25. I don't know if that segment of the show has a bigger meaning for me. Uh, uh, that's like the funniest part of the show. For I always me, think about I, I just go like, well, what is the what is comedy? It's like you what you're supposed to be drawing from living your life, and then you, I just think about like I th the only person that's nailed it so far is Larry David because he migrated to HBO and then was like literally like this is a show about me arguing with my gardener and it, like <laughs> but you think but, like, like that is genuinely the progression like if you're if you are successful at, at, at getting people to laugh like you you are rewarded in our glorious society to a level where you're like, I no longer, uh, like you, you don't have, I, I, the top of this podcast is I would come out and I would go like, I'm so sick of people telling me to tie my shoes. You and said like, that a lot. Like I, that, that would be a, such a dishonest thing right now. Cause I would come out, I, I, I would have to come out now and say, I'm so sick of the guilt that comes with knowing that everyone's afraid to tell me anything about my shoes or else they'll get fired. Oh Yeah. <laughs> Oh yeah, you self-advocate enough, and then you're like, "That's not relatable, like, oh. <laughs> and it's also a little uncomfortable, and it doesn't. It's like a, there's a little bit of a loop there, but yeah. it's honest. Well, it's also yeah. where I wanted to be. It's a like you know, but also like like who? Yeah, like yeah, I do get that about comedy for sure. Like I talk about like acting, like I don't need to be famous, and that's what I know I like. But I fantasized a lot about maybe enjoying being a stand-up comic or making like a sitcom or something where like I create the characters and then I can express darker things, you know? Like I can kind of express less savory things because it's funny, you know? Like I don't have to. I don't. I, yeah. Let me give you a choice between, uh, but without like. If you, because I think, like, like as far as like guests that we would book, do you like, in as terms of categories, like your favorite, like screenwriters, like like people that do what I do, me talking to them, uh, uh, anti-fascist activists <laughs> who who feel the way I feel about about not going gently into ooh, this fucking horrible night. Um, at, at the risk of depressing all of us and also offending like the 30% of us who are more than welcome here. Um, the, the, uh, and then, uh, 30%? <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> Look, my math is notoriously wrong, but I still get a we weird feeling it's going to turn out to be right. Um, but, but, but uh, uh, and then I don't know what, there's a third category. You could, uh, you could make it up, but like, 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 I can't, so I'm like, like, should I, I should just have trash it. delivery or, or, or like Paul, <laughs> you're, 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 you're too young. You remember there, Paula Poundstone had a show on uh, Showtime or HBO or something and she would just have like literally like a firefighter or a like meter maid or something like that. Like, like she would just like, it was sort of like, these are the people in your neighborhood kind of like. <laughs> like, we, when, like when we had the guy who like worked at Target and like knew about all the Targets and stuff, like he knew all the insider stuff. Oh. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Do you remember, yeah. Well, I probably don't remember that. But part. he was just like from the audience. It was like but, um, Scooter or something. Scooter, yeah, that yeah. was Scooter. Um, Let's um, get Scooter but, back, huh? That guy yeah, was hot. I know. Yeah. I wish there was like, there's like no, there's like hardly let, anybody let's here. Get him a, let's like get him a regulars. line scooter and he can scoot it back over <laughs> But what do you think? That so was good. That was good. Oh, I don't no, know why that didn't get the response. The third don't, category don't would call be like, me, like, 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 No, that's, that's uh, honesty. My callbacks are so fucking rich and dense that people really can't even... You're too serious. smart for the room, Jeff. Uh, yeah. I, uh, I, could go, I could go... I could say, let's book Edward Neumeyer. He wrote RoboCop. Let's book... Like, like, like I just what? go like all the yeah. screenwriters, you know? Like, I just want to reach out to all the screenwriters, but then... Is my show just like Elvis Mitchell? Like, like I'm just the, the talking. Well, page ten of RoboCop, you chose to do this. You know, like I don't know. Let, let's get people that are way too like like fancy for us, but they have to do yoga with Dave Klein. <laughs> let's get. Oh yeah, I was Elvis one of the people Mitchell. who came up and did that. That was weird. That was awesome. That was amazing. <laughs> it was wild. That was that was wild. That's exactly the word I would use. Oh yeah. <laughs> 
You're All telling right, well, me. Uh, should, should we try a little D&D? Well, or yeah, too late I mean, for this well, now? let's let Nova plug, uh, plug her album. Yeah, Nova? <laughs> Uh, what's your, what, your your new record comes out? Uh, oh, sorry, but what, what is your pronoun? Sorry, I, 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 I keep referring to you as her. I, I, I didn't, and you said you were trans. I, uh, I don't know. It's you, you're, you're, you're if up in I, the air. If I if I if I if I had my wish, I would use they, but a lot of people don't want to use they. It's 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 it's. <laughs> well, we're catching up. It's like it's gonna. It's, it might take a little time. They're they're they're, they're yeah. <laughs> uh, he is good too. I, they're all fine. <laughs> awesome. Uh, what, what, what's the, what's the, what's the, what do you, you want to, do you want to, uh, uh d- deliver any parting, uh, 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 look this up, go to this, go to that, donate to this, like anything, this is your chance. Hey, catch me on Tumblr, just kidding. <laughs> yeah. Um, that's the only thing I do that's visible to any other people. Have you seen my post, <laughs> my post about almond milk? No, do you have a Tumblr? Some people talk about my post about almond milk. I don't like almond milk. I don't like it either. You might enjoy my post. Well, I, 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 can't, I can't stop talking about your almond I milk I would post. enjoy that post. It's not sweet. Yeah, well, you they're should sweet, find but it. But that's not good either. I mean, don't search it out, but if you see it, it has a lot of notes. Are you on Tumblr? I was, yeah. Oh, not anymore. Not, not actively. Yeah. I love Sorry. Uh, I like almond milk. Yeah. <laughs> well, that's nice. That's fine. <laughs> All right, let's give it up for Nova, everybody. Thank you so much, Nova. Nova. Thanks for joining us up here. Thank you. Thanks so much. Dan. That was fun, huh? Yeah. Dan. But Dan, that was very that was a very emotional very sensitive Don't talk. Don't fucking mock me. No, you were very... It was I a side you ever, haven't seen in a while. You know, whatever, anything that happened to value between me and this guest... I enjoyed it. It was in spite of you. Why? Why? And, Why? and you have no right now to patronize. I'm not. And, and I I'm, mean, just... I'm, I'm, I'm trying to give you a compliment. I'm saying you did a great I job. I hear your dog whistle blowing... <laughs> I hear your dog whistle blowing, hey, Dan. and I, I feel Dan. your bellow call. Dan, come I on. hear your dog whistle blowing. You always do this song when I'm trying to get serious. <laughs> <laughs> this fake Johnny Cash song. <laughs> this, you always do this ersatz Johnny Cash needle yeah. drop that you don't have to pay for. Yeah. I what hear happened? that what dog whistle blowing. <laughs> Wait, I want to I, I hear all of this song. What, what, happened, what happened to you over the weekend that you were... Because because the rim of my cup has what happened to you? a cup full of bullets and the prison's what's up. I'm Johnny Cash. I'm going round. I've never felt this forest found. I ate a million redwood trees and drove a Chevy to the dam. And I spent a night in prison and I ate your mama's ham. I'm Johnny Cash. I was in prison. I'm Johnny Cash. I invented the prism. I was there when Isaac Newton's apple fell on top of his tawny head. And I took him to Folsom Prison and I... Uh, I had sex with his head I, because when you're tough, you sing <laughs> country western Fire high security wing Johnny Cash <laughs> ring of fire potato man tire wire I'm eating that redwood tree. <laughs> And I'm free, Johnny Cash. <laughs> sorry, I, 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 oh, I'm sorry, I, I, am I only Steve entertaining Levy myself? Let's bring D&D, everybody. <laughs> Levy, are you out there? Are you amongst? Every time I try Levy... to take it to a serious place, you got to sing that song. Yeah. Steve Levy to the I'm stage. Here he is, everybody. Cash. Hell yeah. Uh, I like to sing from the heart. <laughs> That's the laziest handshake. Hey, come to me. Shake my hand. 
Take it down. Put it right. down. So our, our time is short, Spencer. I'm sorry to... D- d- Wait, d- Spencer d- is a thing. Don't you have a thing, I, Spence? I got way too many things. Holy shit, you guys. I got things. First of all, Dan... Nova said the favorite part of the show was uh, when, at the beginning, when you're telling the stories, did you clock that as like, oh, yeah, when I have all this great stuff prepared, that's when you enjoy it? No, nah, because I never, like, I never flattered myself was thinking that that's when the... Oh, that's the that stuff, that baby. good. Oh, it's great. We heard it from the source. <laughs> well, that seems like a, yeah, I mean, like, oh, my favorite part of the broccoli is the pad of butter on top of it. Yeah. <laughs> well, tough titties. <laughs> <laughs> it's broccoli. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I know, but I, yeah, I, I, I sure. I just my wanted to part. ask. I'd forget behind what stage. You, what is that a, like a subtle note from you that you're like, I wish you prepared No, more? I just, that was what I, that was what my interpretation. And I was like, well, Dan hates himself too. I wonder if that was his interpretation. Yeah, but you don't want to, you don't want to put more anxiety on me about preparing for the show. No, you don't have to do any of that. I wanted to, uh, if you felt that way, tell you not to. <laughs> But look what I've done instead. I think <laughs> I feel like you're flipping the script on me where you're like, yeah, your D&D is your whole fucking shitty show that no, precedes no, my no, D&D. No. How would you like it if everyone was relying on you to prepare stuff this and you is, were unprepared? No, no. This is that was not my intent. No. I see how obvious it is to see now that that's how it reads. This is all this is like last week all over again. We have to we have to learn to uh have empathy or we're never going to communicate with each other. Yeah, man, it's rough out there. The, look what I just did. I just did the thing that we were talking about where I'm like, "Oh, you hate me because I do this." And like, I'm doing that because I'm not communicating. I do you. that too. It's great. I'm I, glad I, I we're working you. through you're, it together. You're, you're you're a good friend and you've been my friend forever and yeah, like man. I, like like you're great. We're going to do it. Yeah. All right. Tonight. <laughs> That's more awkward to say than No, it's I cool. I appreciate though. you saying and? that. I feel the same way. And Rob's good too. And Rob's all right. He has his moments, but Jesus Christ, tonight has featured none of them. So that was. <laughs> no, you had some moments. That was thing one. Thing two is in in my news update. My dad has a VCR now. Whoa! He got he got a VCR from oh, shit. Oh, a shit. Harmontown fan named Alejandro who lives in the area. And uh, he hooked my dad up with a VCR, and he's going to watch the, the, v- the VHS tapes he has and see if uh, it's among them, the, the Goonies thing. The Goonies commercial. Yeah, we're not, we're not sure he has it, but will you, we will we, find out soon. Will you explain to the people who haven't heard the other episode what we're talking about? Really? So when I was a kid, I was maybe in a Goonies commercial that my dad shot, and uh, he put it on local cable to- TV or local TV or something. And it might exist, and everyone but me thought that was cool. So I'm gonna I'm I'm gonna melt if I ever see that. I it's it's sure to be a letdown. There's no way it's not. Uh, no, I'm glad if you like I it, that'll be good. I think just seeing you as a kid is a is is good enough. Sure, I got a beard and everything. <laughs> Um, All right, Spencer. It's been a thousand years, so I have one more thing. Oh yeah, you got your you got your chest of magic. Over I here. actually I uh, I don't want to alarm anybody, but I actually started another podcast. It's about being a dungeon master, and I'm giving advice I to dungeon masters. I saw that shit in the most awkward way possible, which yeah. was Instagram just yeah. browsing. Right. <laughs> I knew <laughs> it's just D and D. It's just it's just DMing. It's not comedy. It's not funny. It's not entertaining. It's like going to class. It's studying. It's not good. It's, it's where not he talks shit about us. Yeah. yeah. So you can you can hear me ch- talking okay. shit about yeah. six or seven episodes in when I'm sure Dan hasn't listened to anything. Right. Oh. All right, Spencer. I, I'm I'm going through my second level druid spells, and I'm gonna fucking lay some fucking heavy shit on you. Okay. Um, I, I'm. I, I guarantee you, I, I'm gonna chill metal in this it's one. It's called Master Manual. You can check it out. Huh? Yeah, it's, well, I was just going to say, I'm also that, that on plug. another master manual, not yeah. on Starburns Audio. Well, you know, uh, they can court us. <laughs> I'm not opposed to it. Make an offer. I'm, uh, um, I'm on a. You know what I'm saying? I know exactly what you're saying. <laughs> <laughs> and I don't predict you'll be coming over. Well, I, I, only uh, no, That's a self-deprecating statement. Sure, yeah. yeah I mean, I, I'm I think, open to it. I think you should hold yourself to a higher standard. Well, I hold myself <laughs> to a high standard, yeah. Um, I'm, a, I'm on a podcast, another D&D podcast. Oh, yeah, Fear Initiative, Fear right? Initiative on the Blumhouse What Network. the fuck? You know? <laughs> hey, you snooze, you lose. Suck my dick. Let's yeah. play. All right, all right. <laughs> <laughs> and 
And they're so nice to me over there. You they're see? so nice. I walk in, yeah. they go, Rob, how you doing? Uh, well. What did you do this weekend? That's nice. How did you, what are your dreams? What do you, what did you, what are your interests? Yeah. That's really cool. Wow. All right, I'm Spencer, listening. Yeah, give Spencer, them three Spencer weeks. Uh, catch us all up because it's been a thousand Wait, years. Wait, Spencer, isn't there a thing that you wanted to play? What the, what are you talking about? I thought yeah, there's a video clip. Oh, yeah, that'll be later. Oh, okay, cool. I got a video clip. I knew, I didn't know what you were talking about. Yeah, spe- I mean, speaking of preparedness, this guy. It's the Goonies. No. Yeah, no, it's not. His, it was your. Was your laptop in the freezer? What? What's that? I'm sorry, Jeff. No. Okay, never mind. From my, this my, angle. My iPad finger's getting sore over here. Oh, no. Yeah, go ahead, Rob. Let's all pray for Jeff. <laughs> <laughs> Dicks out for Jeff. Dicks yes. out for Jeff. Yes. <laughs> Let's find this path. Man, remember Harambe? Good times. Oh, man. Simpler times. Remember when trolling involved caring about a gorilla? <laughs> Instead of a president? Yeah, good times. Sorry, Jeff. I know how much you've been needing this. <laughs> <laughs> sorry, I'm sorry. Last time on Harmony. One more thing. Yeah. <laughs> you see this Happy Time Murders? I'm movie? aware of it. <laughs> Apparently, it didn't do well this last weekend. <laughs> it did not. No. <laughs> Apparently, people weren't ready. For the happy time murders. Yeah. Okay, go. <laughs> okay. <laughs> there's, there's edges, and then there's cutting edges. Yeah. And society is not ready for the cutting yeah. edges. They cut too many edges. Are you? What are you telling me? A Muppet is doing something? What the wait heck? Wait a minute. Hold hey. on a second. I got a rule for Muppets in my life, and it ain't got nothing to do hey. with this other business. Puppets are supposed to teach me how to spell, not murder. Hey, uh, Next thing you're telling me, Bugs Bunny's got a cup in his hand. Get, what get are you the telling fuck me? out of here with that shit. Uh, get the I'll fuck a, out of here with that. You them. can pry my 70-year-old IP from my cold, dead fingers. I'm not doing this. I'm not watching no murders, happy, sad, Phone angry people murders. People that go like this are limited to my childhood Crank Yankers, every commercial since 1970. All right. And a fourth season of Community. Let's go. God damn it! Uh, <laughs> last time. You're in good company, Happy Time. Go <laughs> for it, please. It was, it was under my protest. It was written on a whiteboard. Keep do going. Do not do it. You're killing your own show. There was, come on, let's go. It said, the, 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 the billboard say, no sesame, all street. <laughs> no, they don't. Sense. It does yeah, not real. Is that yeah, real? They, they got it. That's they the say actual that. billboard yeah. that I drove yep. by. Somebody they, needed. They I, needed I, I some would sesame. say, give me more. Give me a little more sesame and a little less street. <laughs> like you got to find that Sesame Street sweet spot. Sesame Street was already heavily street. Yeah. <laughs> that was actually the fucking point that of the show. That was the point. Yeah. It was like, like truly the point of the show. It was like, like, like saying, "I was like, oh, these kids." I mean, Mr. Hooper don't. died. Let's go. Last time on Harmontown. One more thing. Yeah. If, 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 it's a jo- obviously a joke. It's, it's a good joke. Lower the flag. It's, it's, a, it's, a joke. it's, a it's been working a lot. <laughs> Will you please working. lower the flag? <laughs> He deserves you, to but be You honored. haven't said anything about Senator McCain. You've said nothing. <laughs> oh, yeah. Well, I think that... Um, Can we honor the, the senator from... Since 1986, he was the, was the governor of Arizona, Jesus Christ. I'm just mad at people telling other people what to do. It's just like, everybody shut the fuck yeah, well, up. Well, just tell us he's a hero. Or don't. Just shut the fuck up. Just everybody shut the fuck up. Just, just shut up. Just, just shut, shut up. the fuck up. Just shut up. But I you haven't done it. You haven't told us he's a hero yet. I don't care. I'm just going <laughs> to shut the fuck up. Because it doesn't matter. That's what I want. I don't want to hear about John McCain. I don't not want to hear about John McCain. I want everybody to shut the fuck up. Quit trying to pull shit. It doesn't fucking matter. Yeah. <laughs> it's, <laughs> not going to bring him back. Sorry. And that's also, that sounds like it's about D&D. It truly is about John McCain's death. <laughs> just shut the fuck up. I don't care. Yeah. It's my favorite. It's become my favorite episode of the show. Ever. This is a good episode. Yeah, I never thought. I didn't thought when I came out yes, here. We, I didn't we, think we, it would we be had my Nova. Episode. Now we've gone supernova. <laughs> supernova. Uh, Nova. Nova. Nova was the gateway to a, a satisfying episode. All yeah, right. man. We, we we broke free. Okay, we have thirty <laughs> seconds for D&D. Okay, no, it's good. Go. It's good. It's gonna be great.
Last time on Harmontown, our heroes, they were at a, a new town. What was it? The town of Dornester. They were searching for Patchen's gem. They found Patchen's gem, but they lost Patchen's and set the town on fire. Um, they left the town and they were looking for Patchen's when they got a crow from their friend, Brother Absalon from the church. He was like, you're being reassigned. We need your help over this way at this uh, other place where they're having a, a log jam at the, at the stone mines. Ooh, nice. And uh, so you were heading over there in the hope that Patchens would be in that general direction. Then you ran into a cult, a cult of exercise people. You exercised with them and then left. Then you came across another cult. This new cult was uh, more culty and less fun than the last cult. They were summoning something, a demon. For some strange reason, and I, I thought of this over and over, for some very strange and out of character reason, two of the characters who I can't even remember their identities, they helped the cult summon a demon, which is the antithesis of their jobs. We left them in the middle of the ritual, a gateway opening in the floor, a giant pentagram scrawled into the earth, and through that gameplay, a giant, giant fucking demon arm was shooting forth into the material plane. All right. Yeah. So, right. so a gate has opened up and, and the, like a huge, this seems like it's maybe a 30 foot tall demon's arm is, is bursting out of the ground. <laughs> well, not out of the ground, out of the hole in the ground that was formed by magic. Yeah. A portal. And his hand is raising way up. Yeah, he's like crawling. He's like reaching around trying to pull himself out of this, out of this portal right now. Oh, God damn it. Could this be our savior? You guys are religious. <laughs> Your job is to smite evil. Yeah, I mean... I, what, it's a what? big part of this whole thing. <laughs> I mean, you can turn against that, but just let me know so I can uh, yeah, I mean, know what to do. We're doing our jobs. We want this thing to come through so we could smite it. Yeah, let's, we're going to smite Let's fucking this. go. Let's smite yeah. this demon. Let's start smiting. You just asked if it was evil. Now you want to smite it. I'm yeah. Just, I'm just keeping my eye on you. <laughs> We're trying to have a good time. Yeah. Oh, oh yeah. Oh yeah. I got high road. Uh, I, I I shoot a firebolt at the uh, demon arm. All right. I gotta get my dice. Oh, you didn't have your oh fucking dice God. out. <laughs> After all don't, don't that fucking off. bluster, <laughs> gotta get his dice out. While 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 you're doing the dice. Okay. Uh huh. Go ahead. You're doing it already. All right. It's uh, immune to fire, being a demon. Oh. But you do hit it. Okay. Well, that's something. Yeah, it's right. knowledge. Okay. Well, one <laughs> one box check. Do I get live and learn XP on that one? Oh yeah, you okay. get three experience. It's good. God damn it! Uh, you, you guys take a Dan. You're seeing. You're seeing. Uh, it's 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 Stephen Schraub, right? They were in the ritual. You guys. Yeah. What? You see Stephen Schraub? Oh, they're holding Steve magical ritual and ingredients. Schraub. And they're, they're summoning a demon, and you're like, what? I look away for two seconds, that kind of thing, you know? Yeah. That's where you're at right now. Yeah. What, what's the environment that we're in right now? It's, uh, it's rolling hills. This part's a, a flat expanse. Oh. Yeah. Oh, so no, there's no trees or anything around. Not Not nearby. The thing is, we just there's grass. Never, like, it's, if, if Shrab and I stop our little ritual, does the gateway close? You don't know. There's, better. Been, there's been this ongoing thing where like I, I'm I'm out of everything. You, I, I, that was a mistake. I told you that. I was wrong. You have your spells back because it's been multiple days. Oh shit. Yeah. Sorry. Okay. My bad. All right. All right. Oh, I'm back, baby. Um, Wait. Before you expend anything, Shrub, shouldn't we just try to close this portal? Yeah. yeah. Let's say everything backwards. Yeah. Uh, okay. Just, um, 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 what is the yeah. You just go, Dan. Oh. Uh, right. Is and this working? And we're no. bowing up. <laughs> <laughs> while we're doing this. And we're and we're really committing to it. Right. Did you are you taking note of that? We're really committing to it. And like the biggest arms. The biggest the biggest arms and and we're really nailing the backwards uh talking. Right? I think the cultists are impressed. Yeah. Well, oh yeah, well that's important. Right. You fucking idiot. <laughs> oh, name calling. Okay. Oh yeah, I know. Let's let's get through this life and make sure we meet one goal. Impress the cultists. <laughs> yeah, that's that's a it's a chaotic world. 
Oh, the mountain can talk. There's a there's a devil deer. Uh, th- that chest has a fucking ghost in it. But you know, let's let's keep things focused. Impress the cultists. You fucking idiots. <laughs> uh, you have one religion. Uh, not you. You know what? You're a shambling mound. I I, I expect more from you. Thank you for acknowledging my race. <laughs> That's fine. It's just it's just fucking disappointing. And I'm not saying this stuff because it would take a turn. Okay. I, sh- I, 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 I indicate that with a look. Right, yeah, but, of course. And, and, and also, I, 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 I also want to add that it's mostly directed toward me because I don't, I don't, I, I, you I'm should know self-loathing. Better like, yeah. I, don't, I don't fucking, like, I don't, I'm not a commander. I don't, I don't know how to handle this shit. This is shit that you're doing to me because I don't know how to fucking clean it up. Okay? Because I'm not a fucking leader. So when you do this shit, you do it to me. Because I'm not your fucking dad. I'm just a dude trying to not die. So you fuck me. You know what? When you do this you shit. Know what? You, know, you know, what? know what? Fuck it. I'm done. I stop bowing backwards and saying stuff. I, I shut up. Throw down Knock my it shit off. And I start walking no, home. No, you don't. Fine. No, no. Fine. Shut up. Fine. No. no you don't no, like no, how no. I do it? All right. Knock it, it off. Knock home. it off. Try to kill somebody yeah, you, in my living room. You wish. Tied up, build up. I'm trying to deliver tea. I never asked for this. My dog's got to be let out. I'm going. All right, first Fuck of all, all of you guys. I'll deal I with you. I don't need to be talked to like this. Steve, keep them away from me. DJ. I want to. I want to. I want to. I want to. I want to channel. Apology. <laughs> you I want to get manage that. You rested. I want to channel Smite. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Which? Um, the right one. Wait, the right channel Smite. What? That's an attack that you use on a target. I want to Smite the the, thing the arm. Thing, yeah, the thing. It's yeah. All right. It's a thirty foot demon arm coming. Yeah, out of the and ground. I'm smiting oh, yeah. it. Yeah, yeah. And it's super easy to hit. <laughs> arm. <laughs> Anti arm. All right, you smite it for 11 good damage. Yeah. It slices open. Anyways. Um, Shrab was walking away, right? I'm walking away. I'm, on, I'm just a silhouette. Okay, the there he goes. There he goes, everybody. The hero. You know... I can't hear what you're saying. I'm calling you a hero. I can't hear you. I'm over the hill. Yeah, I'm saying you're a hero. What? Yeah, I'm saying you're a hero. You're As sorry. I'm being sarcastic. As Schraub walks away, instantly the portal that was being opened starts destabilizing. You see its edges start to waver, and they get bigger and smaller and stuff. And now, now like a shoulder and a head of the demons, like like uh, coming through. But now it like kind of cinches tight on a, around him, so he's like kind of more stuck than he was. But now he's more out than he was, and he starts lashing out about. Mm. Let's see what happens. Nothing. Well, let me let me let me try again. I don't know what you're talking about because you're gone. By the way, everything that happens is your fault because you left. Can't hear you. I can only hear the, the cultist, people that work hard to make this happen. The cultists gesture at Steve as if to to try and make you reposition yourself in the circle. Ah, uh, well, look, we hear you. I'm sorry, me, and I promise. This is for change. I take my elvish blade and I go right for the the th- the, the the wounds that Dan created. Okay. Carlos. You miss. <laughs> As you step out of the circle, the the thing d d what do you call it? It deregulates. I don't know. It fucks up more, and it uh it, it cinches tight, and now it looks like it's kind of strangling the demon. But not like lethally, just like he's like, ah, this is right. an asshole. So cool. now, hey, Carlos, now this, this is the time to get him. Uh, I'm gonna, can I cast bull strength on Carlos and give him? Uh, yeah, definitely. Uh, I, 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 you'll get plus four strength for one minute if I if I cast bull strength on you. Mm-hmm. I'm gonna let you fucking take this. Oh, but what am I? I, I don't. Uh, 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 You're gonna kill the demon. Well, I'm, gonna, I'm gonna I'm gonna give you f- plus four strength. Okay. Uh, uh, can't hear you. Don't hear anybody. Is there a mosquito around? <laughs> I just. Okay. 
Okay. Okay, I cast both strengths on Carlos. That happens. You get all strong and such. All right, well then... <laughs> And physically, I'm strong. Oh yeah, so four feel, more. Well, then I, I, I'm gonna. You got a plus four. Go kick some butt. We, we, we got a strangled demon. Well, then yeah, and there's four more cultists. Okay, well then I'm physically using my uh, 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 my morning star. All right. It's not impressive. It is when you clock. What do you attack? Uh, what do you mean? Time times two critical. What are you attacking? Uh, the thing, the arm okay. and the shoulder. <laughs> you clock him right in the shoulder. It deals another uh, 12 damage. Yeah. It's it's not, it's hurting him, but it's like, he's a giant, giant. Oh. Okay, thank you for the making me better than I, I am. I, 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 like, like, <laughs> that's not really what I do. Is the portal still closing? It's like cinched tight around him. The demon's stuck. It's like he can't get all the way out because the ritual's been disrupted. Oh. Hmm. Mm. 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 Oh. <laughs> Who's the worst? <laughs> hey, Chris, you want to roll the clip? <laughs> Chris, is our clip? So th you beat the last mission, so here's your mission complete yeah. screen. Boy. Swoop. Get a D plus cliffhanger. <laughs> Thank you for coming, everybody. <laughs> I love the. <laughs> That's amazing. Go to Harmon Town and become a subscriber to see that awesome clip. Let's give it up for Steve Levy. Nova. She burned a thousand times brighter and then returned to her original intensity. Rob Schraub. <laughs> Spencer Crittenden. <laughs> I'm your humble comptroller, Jeff Davis. Your mayor is Harmon. <laughs> we love you all. Drive fast and take chances, won't you? D, D plus.